Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity. It's session 29. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 29th of July, 2019. It's the 29th session on the 29th day. <gasps> and it's 2019, which has a 2 and a 9 in it. And it's the 29th month. Yep. I'm <coughs> of something. Yeah, eventually. 29th of, hour. Of the sh <laughs> Schlember calendar, right? Um, <laughs> Schlemish. Um, <laughs> Anyway, here are the players. Hi! Hi, I'm Nico. <laughs> I'm playing Zoro, the best captain. Hello, I'm Alex. I play Nix5, the Android mechanic. To paraphrase Scottish comedian, the Wee Man, without any further ado, open the catty smoking area gates, for I am Colin, and I will be playing Lyco Crimp, the undead <laughs> sneaky spooky <laughs> boy. Those are Hi. some smoggy gates. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Cal. Hi, I'm Caleb. I'll be playing yes, the, space, the space rat from. I was about to say Mars. Um, <laughs> no, no. Biker mice from Mars. Mars. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Biker mice from Mars. Yes. Um, from the sun. Yes. Yeah. Mars the Rick, sun. That's me. Mars the sun. What's the difference? <laughs> yep, not getting into it. Not not it's taking the bait. <laughs> so, so, who remembers what happened last time on Starfinder: The Fragments of Eternity? Skate go ruined us. Searching. We were in the drift. Mm. Okay, so there was a drift. Last game was a bitch about our engineering. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um, Such a fucking clear. Wow. <laughs> Energy wow. ball. I love clear. Let me just establish that. There was a However, yeah, there was an energy ball. That's correct. Yep. Uh, so there was an energy ball. ball. There was an energy spoon. Yep. Uh, energy sippy cup. There was the reincarnation of our mm -hmm. biomechanical brethren. Oh yeah, how could yes. I forget about that? Yep. Both. I am Nix the White. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, not even hiding it, like. Yep. Just not even hey, hiding it. Nope. I return to you now as Nick's five should have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. If only I had some kind of Android rival, that would have been awesome. Let's, I know. let's start the game again. <laughs> right, Sarubot. You see right. it only. <laughs> I mean, how do we know he doesn't? Well, I think we know. Next 5.2. <laughs> uh, I think we said he's next five point one at the moment, right? Because you've just yep. you've had your first upgrade properly. Well, if I will shy one up him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so dear. we're going to Isengard. Yep. And gonna fuck shit up. Space and guard. To fight with the ends, I guess. Like we, yeah. yeah. we go. Like, I'm can we just play so Space Lord of the Rings? That sounds awesome. That'd be <laughs> like, good. Oh, I'm okay with that. Right, give me a bit of time to write that and find a system <laughs> to support it. Sweet. Possibly just this system. <laughs> In the meantime, <laughs> let's just try access so, and steal the dragon gold. Yeah. Right, so we'll do the we'll do the Hobbit first and then <laughs> <laughs> So that's me and what bunch of Yosoki? Yeah. Well, we're a bit pretty more much. like a dragon cave, right? <laughs> Right, so like, we can get a chunk of the Hobbit done straight away. Like, we just need to enter just a small, real quick. What I love is there are dwarfs in this system, we just chose to ignore them for the superior rat people. Um, <laughs> oh, amazing. That's what world playing system should do. Yeah, because they'll keep the yes, Arkenstone in their cheek pouch, obviously. Wow, this, <laughs> this is all going a bit scathing for me. Oh, oh this yeah, is I was about to say, this is turning into Warhammer all over again. <laughs> Hey, I mean, we can we can throw that in too, right? What's a bit of slanesh between friends, right? Oh, um, <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody who's putting up with this so far. All one of you, thank you. Um, listening yes, at home. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we think we've covered what happened last time and what we might run in the future. Um, goals. Oh, crap. I Always oh. believe oh, I open the sheet, yeah. oh my god, that is so painful. That you oh, have found it. something better than the red and green. It's that yellow and white. What you about? It wasn't him. Um, so good. To be fair. I never yeah, this one wasn't... Just in general, you, okay. the party. <laughs> God, it's bad. <laughs> that was a me. That was a, it was, that was a, a me, a Colin. 
Oh no, I've gone away. That's so hot to my eyes. Dox me, if any of you fucking dox me, I'll kill you. Anyway. Wow, <laughs> if ever a doxing was deserved. <laughs> Not helping my case, am I? No. Uh, anyway, so, goals. God. So far. So far I have for Lyco, find new source of Barai information. I feel like I've taken a valuable first step. Yep. Want to keep that, yeah? Yep. Cool. Not that I actually had any say in it, because I just got teleported, but <laughs> I did go. Yeah. So, you know. And there was also the actively interacting as opposed to flipping them off, right? <laughs> I mean, that's an interaction. <laughs> yeah. I guess. <laughs> Um, you just next. Why do you why you do this to me? Why? <laughs> just experimenting. Um, I know, but <laughs> less of it. Um, oh, why? <laughs> so, Zig, your goal: reconcile with Nix and seek yes. forgiveness. Is that your priority this yeah. session? It is my priority. Good. I like that you added a bit of extra Scottish, just like I did too. Thank you. <laughs> That's my priority. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm so <laughs> fucking tired. That's why. Same as yes. <laughs> the three I'm hour like, sleep I'm, clip. I'm <laughs> yay. I don't even know if it is a yay. Is it? Is it? Sure. It's uh, it's a something. Yeah. Zora. Get Amazing. the ship fixed. Did you think of anything uh, you wanted to change it to f for Zora this session? Or not really immediately. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Not even futurely. <laughs> so no, <laughs> is the answer no. to this. No. Get the ship fixed is fine, we'll take it as we come. What We'll take life one step at a time. Let this acquire the skitter mender? No. Uh, that, that's that's the future. Go <laughs> <Yep. laughs> That's what I was talking about. We established we're not willing to think about any of these things. Yeah, and also I feel like the skitter mender is going to be called something like Bilbo or Frodo. Um, I don't think mm -hmm. we should have a skitter mender. You don't think you should have one? I mean, what? Yeah. I mean, like, where are you I mean, keeping it in with the fucking ooze? Like, you need a second oh, yeah, playpen. It spits back out. Wow, you're gross. I would get one day get a spog, though. I want a space dog. One yeah, day. Yeah, you had a space it dog a in a different thing. game. Right, it's not my fault, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's not my fault I lost the space dog. I left it in a taxi with some idiots. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's you exactly. being irresponsible. You can't just say, "Oh, I'm not a bad parent. I just left my kid with bad people." Like that. That makes you a bad parent. No, if you don't know they're bad people. He knew. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. I so thought that, like, let's just tell the group, right? So Nico's character left his space dog in the taxi, which was like a hover taxi speeder thing, with some other party members yeah. and then those Which party members Steven? were chased I'm not saying anything so those party members it actually specifically wasn't I don't think in this example and wow. uh, <laughs> it was the rest of them um, which I believe consisted of Gib Claire and Naomi maybe and uh, <laughs> they they decided the best course of action to get rid of the speeder and the potential imperial uh, people following them was to just autopilot it forward <laughs> with the dog still in then they just left it and never brought the dog so the dog just yeah. zoomed away in a line and after probably hit something. He says, look after my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that's Star Wars that's and the nice. nonsense we we had in that game. Back in it's this game. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Callum, uh, subtle hint, audio, any, any, any chance of that audio, Callum? Huh? Maybe the Star Wars audio. <laughs> oh shit! Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was, yeah, I was. Maybe. Yes. I'll yeah, do that. It's sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Apologies. That's fine. Don't be daft. Um, anyway, so. It's okay. I'll be daft if I want to. You, you do you, yeah. Um, next. Um, I ne will. Next. Oh my. You can dance yes. if you want. Next. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> is it? Is it just a, like? How many times can we get Ryan's eyes to just fail? Is that <laughs> <laughs> That's the game. Because I barely <laughs> use them as it is. Please. <laughs> please, 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 please help. <laughs> you are winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great phrase, isn't it? You are winning. <laughs> be a great sarcastic android, wouldn't it? You are winning. I like you, chap. You are winning. <laughs> <laughs> that Pat, is not this android. Pat's hobo on. Head, oh. walks away with a jaunty step. <laughs> um, 
Some slap. For sure. <laughs> yeah, pat, slap, same thing. Right, what about your goal? What are we doing for you? I've currently got understand the white space. Cool. Happy with that? Yes. Cool. Right, and as for the leveling up situation, let's just assume we get eight goals that seem decent in the completed list that are new. Mm -hmm. And they will be level eight, right? That seems fine, especially given how quick Lyco gets through them. So, yes. yeah. Um, and no, he doesn't get to auto complete that one because I put him in front of a potential option for him. That doesn't that doesn't work that way, um, unless he just so happens to word the thing I had planned, which was nice. Um, right. So, <coughs> I think we'll fade back into just moments before the end of the last session, where we had SK holding the weird D twenty of gold in her hand. And going bloop 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 bloop, and then all the colours wrapping around the ship and pulling it into itself, and then whoop, and the ship vanishing, and we faded out to black there. And uh, oh my god, this gold screen! Oh my god, I, I, I broke the. It's text. so broken. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. <laughs> just, just leave it. Just leave it. It's it's fine as it is. We'll just, that's just what that is now. <laughs> it's just one big goal. <laughs> that is, that is. <laughs> it almost looks like Zig's timeline in this game. I, I don't think this is possible in Google Sheets. I mean, we're looking at it. So. Doesn't mean it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. QED. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Let's move on from that. Yes. So. <laughs> Lastly and so. Lastly and so. We fade in. Everyone gets that feeling in their stomach, the kind of vomiting butterflies feeling. And, uh, yeah, can everyone make a reflex no. saves, please? Because the ship seems to be falling. Oh no. Oh fuck, 17. Pretty bad for me. Pretty good for me. Well then. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay, guys. These are new noises. Um. Looks <laughs> <laughs> pretty decent for me, actually. Uh, yeah. So, Nyx and Lyco. Fuck no. Yeah. Uh, let me find out if there's an, a specific. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, so, where are we here? Uh, whoop. These both take eight damage. Oh. But Zora and Zig do not. You just find something in time to grab onto. Yay. This right. is as the ship smacks about um, as it's falling. And then it uh, crashes. Because what? that's what the, that's what the ship does, right? Falls and crashes. It's um, first time. That's my <laughs> ship. <laughs> hey. The name again is Mr. Ship. It's a landing, right? Um, for everyone who has forgotten up until now, not the players specifically, just people listening or person listening, I guess. Um, the 11th hour is the name of the ship that we have. <laughs> or had, I guess, now. Um, thank you, Seagull. Mm. And, um, yeah. What do you do? Hmm. Also, who is piloting Zig? Right, Zig, roll a D2. Correct, yes. Oh, dear. One, two. 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 Okay, now roll a d3. Okay, cool. Right. There is a lot of bright light outside the cockpit. So Zig and MDL sits in the cockpit at this point in time. Maybe 
not many of you, I think, you are all scattered throughout the ship. Um, but yeah, let's see. Did, did we leave people in places where they were? I feel like we probably did. Uh, let's see. Move over here. And wait four years for the map to load. Oh jeez. Yeah, so nobody was in the cockpit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we were all eating energy oh, bars. Yeah, we're eating energy bars. I think yeah. I just walked in and yeah. sat down. Yeah, because you were wanted away from SK, which is understandable. Yeah. So the ship crashes, lands, thuds, splat. It's not great. Alarms are going off. Somehow the alarms still work. Most <laughs> redundant system in the ship. <laughs> they never go off when people go in the ship, though. Just when the ship is sore. So yeah, water folks. Why did we just hit what felt like solid ground? I imagine we hit solid ground. Yeah, like this room's covered in energy bars now. How did we get to solid ground? I'm gonna blame S. Kate. <laughs> I'm gonna like, as soon as it says, I realise the plan. In fact, do I even know the plan? Do you know the plan yet? Actually, what plan? Forget. Um, teleporting device. Um, <laughs> that was it. Was only next that knew that. I'm pretty sure. So far. Um. Hmm. S. Kate. Question. What? I mean, I was just running the assumption she's in the drive room. And we're all here. Yeah. I she... would I would storm out toward the drive room. Uh, follow. I'd lay on the floor. <laughs> Ow. I'm still <laughs> laying there. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably be doing something quite similar. Mm-hmm. So you just head to the engine room? Yes. Cool. Yes. And you just go. Kaplunk. Mind explaining things? So, when you get there, she doesn't seem to be there. Oh my god. Ugh. I roll the scream. Yeah, they do loudly. scream. Loudly. Yeah. yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and ice cream too. <laughs> ice cream? Hmm. I'll probably mm. just shout SK! <laughs> And you just hear her shout back. It's glad to hear your voice in a very dry, sarcastic tone. Seems to be coming from the cargo bay. Okay. Head towards the cargo bay. Yeah. I'm so, following Cat. Yeah. So you just see her gearing up, adjusting her like outfit and such. Well, glad to see you're ready. Mind telling us what happened? And she just looks at because we landed. Well, my colleagues' heads learned that. Like, where? How? And then. Landed uh, a bit of a stretch. She looks back at you both. And then she, she uh, like goes into, like, you know, her gear and pulls out this kind of, as I say, just smaller than a football kind of sized gold kind of orb and she's like forgot I left this on on board and kind of holds it up to you obviously she seems to think that explains everything but you just look at her holding a gold ball um, yeah, so I guess just you have never seen this gold ball before <laughs> raise an ocular ridge <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway, so then she kind of rolls her eyes they scream she puts them into the, uh, not the eyes, but she puts the, the ball back in the, her gear. And then she says, I brought us to Versus. Or Versys, depending on your pronunciation. She doesn't say that, I'm just adding that in. Don't know anything about Versys. Don't know. Why don't you roll some culture? Culture! Culture! Um, Culturizing! I now. may also do that because I have no idea. Culture. So Zygnos. And I think there's a very good reason why Zygnos 
about Versus more than is Aura. Um, so for a... I just remember what that is. <laughs> versus is... Uh, do you want me to move you to the map? Let's go mm, back to the map. Please. Where are we? Ah, there it is. Just move that there. Gosh, is, is a highly civilized world. A cultural hub forever at the forefront of social and technological progress. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be where views have been taken. <coughs> so, I would use the be kind of blurb thing. If I can actually find the blurb thing. There we are, versus. So, orbiting the sun between Akaton and the Adari, Verses is a highly civilized world, a cultural hub forever at the foremost, or forefront, I should say, of social and technological progress. Tidally locked, and this is the part where I think Zig cares, tidally locked with the same side always facing the sun. It lacks the day night cycle of most other packed worlds. Instead, the side known as Fulbright is constantly scorched by a never setting sun, while dark side. Ah yes, Colin, I know. Is trapped. I, <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> well, Dark Side is rolled. trapped <laughs> in eternal frozen night. Fortunately, a narrow ring of temperate climate along the Terminator Line, where the two sides meet, has proven surprisingly welcoming to intelligent life. Not John Connor, though. And today, nearly the entire population of this cosmopolitan world packs itself into a spiralling. Uh, into the sprawling megacities, filling this ring, while the rest of the planet is left to fringe groups and monsters. So Zig, that's what you know. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Z uh, Zora, I should say. Uh, you know that there's a hot side and a cold side. Okay. Okay. But Zig knows everything it's shredded. <laughs> Colin, can you roll for Lyco? I can and will! Second, and this is just for the inevitable moment where you find out you're on this planet. Cool. This is where the uh, stewards started. Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> they started here, probably did, um, which is kind of awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's just that will be relevant to you when you learn that you're on versus. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, Why did you take us to Versys? And you just hear, as I say, like as you're talking, you just hear like zipping up things, clicking things together, adjusting like her backpack and such, her cape thing. Um, and she's like, I'm helping. And she kind of like gestures vaguely at like the, the door behind her. She's like, This is where the stewards are located. This is where they'll fall back to. Oh. Maybe I'll help him. Uh, and then she also like kind of like, you know, kicks some of the junk that's lying f around the, obviously scattered around the um, cargo bay, from the, obviously the speeder that's been smashed to bits. Um, she kind of like brushes that away. And she's like, also, they have shipyards here. I'm just looking directly at your eyes, Zora. The glitter. And she falls in love. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, roll to not end up with loads of uh, angry lizard kids. <laughs> yep. X for days. Well, that's convenient. Uh, she's like, I figured you weren't quite uh, in the mood for round two with Humani. Uh, and this is also the closest vault door I could get to without further complications and then you see her like just out of like white space pull this big ridiculous gun like oversized rifle and um, that you should just starts to like cock and it makes that weird electronic power up capacitor noise for some reason and then um she's like answer me this zora mm -hmm. and then she says um Allegiances. I don't ask for yours. 
But I need to stop Hermani getting to that vault that you have now allowed him access to, whether wi willingly or otherwise. You could help me stop him. If you don't want to do this, just stay out of my way. And you can tell there's like a moment for her, like you to like give a reply of some kind, but she's pretty much ready to boost out the back of the ship. Mm. I would eye roll. Mm -hmm. Boy. More screaming. Like a choir. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for now we'll maybe help you out. I've got no particular love for the man myself. She kind of nods and she's like, Do you speak for your crew? They all seem. And she looks at Zig and looks back at you. Independent. Well, we're all of our own mind. What do you think, Zig? <laughs> hmm. I don't suppose I you'd be willing to. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll, um, I'll, 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 i like, before we go further, I just want to make sure Zig is fully aware before, like, if Zig's happy just to agree with the captain, cool. But she's basically said, let's go stop the Black Dragon. Yes. Alright, so Zig's okay with that, cool. I just wanted to make sure that, yeah. like, you know, her, her choice was, help me go stop him, or stay out of my way. Yeah. Yup, yup. Yeah. Zig's off the mind, he's with the cap. Yeah, good. No, I just wanted to make sure that was a a thing. Um, at oh that yeah. point, Caleb knows this. Good. Uh, is this when Nix 5 enters the cargo bay? Yep. Carrying all the required guns and everything. <laughs> ah, all the required guns. Luckily I bought just yeah. the exact amount I needed. <laughs> I find one artillery cannon usually does it. <laughs> I guess I would turn to Nix and say, Yo, do you want to help put Hamani at his place? Sure, Hamani. Here's the problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? It's a good question. Why do you want to stop him from getting to that vault so much? I would turn to SK. And at this point, you turn around and she's like leaning on the gun now, like it's a tall walking stick. Because um, she now realizes she might have traveling companions potentially. Uh, and she's like, she just kind of like, I guess, stares. But like, she's not really looking at you. She's kind of in deep thought. And then she says, The vault. The Droy Queen's vault. Litania. Her vault. And she's nodding as if. You just get this, right? I'm just listening. Like, get to the point, woman. <laughs> And then uh, she kind of just like narrows her eyes at you, and then uh, she says, "I told you this. The drow broke in to the bank of Abadar and stole the void artifact. The drow yeah, queen has that in her vault." See, have we actually ever been told what the void thing does yet? <laughs> ever? No. <laughs> yeah, cool, but it was definitely see. made to sound very doomy. Yeah. yeah. You see, that's all well and good, but we don't actually even know what this void artifact thing is. Hmm. <laughs> that was a good noise, Zig. Do you want to add more <laughs> to the conversation? No, no, that that, that's, that's an audible. Hmm? I, I, I don't know if it would be audible for everyone, but uh, it's definitely Roll for audible. perception? Mm. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We don't use skills enough. 
rule Zora why not <laughs> 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 this is this is PvP I'm rolling PvP. against it 18 there you go hi you can hear it <laughs> I would just go hmm mm, no I, I don't know what the, the void thing thing does or is well is it where is your amulet out of interest you go it's on my neck. Yeah. Maybe that just feels slightly heavier than it normally does. Maybe oh, no. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? But, yeah. Yeah. It's but, that kind of like, you know, when you're like, just walking down the street and you're like, Oh, I feel a pain. Oh no, I don't feel a pain. Do I? Did I feel a pain? Did that actually I've never happen? had that. Um, no. Yeah. Oh, have you not? Oh, no. okay. Never mind. You need to go to the hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> please be okay. Um, but yes. Please remain safe. <laughs> remain indoors. <laughs> anyway. How convincing was that? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not going to be able to sense much, but can I roll sense motive on that? Yeah. Um, I'll try. I'll probably fail, but let's go. Um, and Zig, are you trying to hide? Does. Are you actively trying to hide what you know? Oh, no, so I'm trying to remember what I know is the problem. I know that, but is Zig actively hiding what he should know? <laughs> um. <laughs> no? Right, do you want me to try and remind you what you know? Can you try and remind me? My brain is not functioning at all right now, so yeah. I do apologise. So, remember the... your wonderful trip through the linear time. Okay? And... You're in vaults upon vaults upon vaults. I was in the vaults, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I saw the, the, the I saw the glowy gold one, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you have what seems to be a key for a vault. Yes? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. <coughs> oh. Nix. Yes. Do you remember what you know? Vaguely. Remember there was the um spooky past sequence. Yeah. Yeah, so where was it? Yeah, you landed a ship. Brought off like a big evil egg thing. Mm -hmm. It seemed to be Grace in the light of the Burning Mother. That seemed to be yep. her offspring. Yep. And she seemed mighty concerned about it. And they didn't like my questions. No. They did not. <laughs> uh, the radiant, su the the soon to be radiant supreme, um, you know, was very much like a no, 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 disrespectful, you know, very much a a worried boy, and uh, yeah, so you know the void artifact as it's known by Escape mm -hmm. is in a vault that was locked away by Grace. At least. So yeah. Just for remind people, because I mean that if, I don't even remember when I told you this. That was a while ago. Years ago. Yeah, yeah. years ago. Mm. <laughs> At least yeah. an in-game year ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and obviously Zig's been in contact with other things. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, what is next thing? in this situation when he's in the uh, conversation at this point obviously with the uh, <laughs> the interactions between Zora and Zig at the moment where Zora seems to be getting something out of Zig he will direct to SK mm -hmm. say is Hamani trying to wake up or hatch whatever it is I think at this point she kind of stands slightly less casually leaning on the, the rifle and she uh, she kind of looks Kind of almost slightly past the Vesk, um, who's blocking most of the view of you. And she says, I see someone. Fuck shaming me. No. <laughs> she is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she looks a wee bit shocked. Um, whether or not Nyx picks up on this, you know, it's not, not a big, like, you know, move on her face real features, but she does look a bit like she didn't expect. You guys to know 
really anything about it, right? Um, far less actually than just say, you know, oh, is this the thing they're looking to hatch? <laughs> and she's like, what do you know of the artifact? Uh, I know that Grace was, seemed upset to be locking her child away. And you see her look and genuinely shocked, and she's like, How do you know Grace? And you can see that she's being very particular with the way she says Grace. Like it's uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure. I know you were there when they locked it away. And she looks quite uncomfortable visibly now, like the way she's th her entire stance and such, and she's like, to the point where like she, the gun nearly falls over, um, but she steadies it in time. She's like, how? And then she stops her and she goes, no. Who are you? That, that's a question, yes. Um, I am currently in X5. You can see like she's like trying to remember, so she does that thing where her eyes dart like to the floor and back like to the other side of the cargo bay and she's like Right. Curious. And she kinda like smirks at you a little. I am um, like What's it to be, Captain? And she kinda says that oh like just past Nick's That's quite a deflection. <laughs> Um. Yeah, but it sounds like she's clearly got like a lot going on. She's like, wait a minute, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, normally she's the one that walks in and goes, here's some revelations. And you guys have just went, I met you before. <laughs> you know, with the, with, with the void egg and grace and the fucking, you know, light of the burning sun. Um, or burning mother. Well, I would just kind of look between all three people in the room and be like, well, everybody seems to know more about it, Jason and me. So, I mean, uh, there's four people in this room besides yourself. <laughs> Wait, there's four? Mm -hmm. Four? Can I not count? Where's that, that dead body in the... Oh, oh yeah, dead. that's the dead body. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Which he is... may be a useful asset very soon. It's, um... The, uh... The zombie buff... Subject. Yeah, the, 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 the buff zombie... Uh, what are they called? Lashanta? That was it. Yeah. Buff zombie Talk to the dead is going to come in real handy. <laughs> um, yeah. Right, so let's freeze us here. Lyco. What is Lyco up to? Assuming Lyco is still with us. Lyco was accidentally yeah. muted there. Sorry. Uh, Lyco would have been listening. You're doing a Nico, I see. Um, I did. I did a Nico. Um, I yeah, so I think like we're going to go back a bit before, obviously, they had that entire piece of dialogue. Ships dumped, uh, people run out of the room, you're left in the room with Alice. What do you do? Hmm. Not very much. Follow, discreetly listen. So, um, yep, you get up. I roll? And, uh, you just I mean, considering we've already been through it, I should perhaps have interjected at the time. That's okay, and then uh, we've got the... <laughs> the part where you get up, you kind of go to work your way around the table. Do you help Alice up or do you just let her dress? Because she's oh, in the yeah, floor as well. Oh, falling down as well. Fuck, yep. sorry. I was, yep. um, of course. Yeah. Yep. Help her up. Hand up. And then you uh, you just hear Shakos's voice being like, Gwent! <laughs> okay. Where, yep. is she? where is she? Uh, on the map, of course, which there your eyes is. should be looking at. Yes. To see these real time updates with beautiful animations. Um, <laughs> and you can see, like, she's obviously been rattled around her room as well, and she's got, like, you know, that knife I, in her I'll hand. Approach, I'll approach her. I got a hand on the wall as well. And she's like, Quint, what happened? And she doesn't look happy as if it's somehow your fault. <laughs> Relax. We seem to have uh, arrived somewhere. I'm, uh,. I'm going to see if I can figure out where that is. Yeah, I think at that point Alice goes, oh yeah, that's probably what I should do. And then she'll head towards the cockpit. Mm -hmm. She'll go do the cockpit things. I think, um, I guess Shakos... I sort of look towards 
Yeah, I guess unless you're going to say anything to Shakos, show head. I was just going to say before that, like I, I'd sort of look where Alice was and then go, hmm, "That's not where they went, though," and decide to to follow them at that point, point. Mm -hmm. and just sort of gesture to her to wait. Cool. So I guess Shakos just kind of chills, and yeah, you head off to the uh, cargo bay. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, this probably took place during the time the captain and that then went into the cargo bay and then they had the initial exchange about verses and then you get there as Nyx walks in I guess so maybe you're outside the door um, as Nyx had joined them so you heard everything from that point on I guess and um, that was audible to you and um, with that back to Nyx uh, not Nick, sorry, uh, back to Zig and Zora. Uh, are we doing a Zora trying to understand what Zig's trying to hide? Is Zig trying to hide anything? No, um, I think that Thank after you, like... <laughs> I feel like after all like, late... Ah, um, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm muted as well. Yep. Yeah. Wow, this, Discord's really getting people tonight, isn't it? Oh, um, everything's getting me right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Um... <clears throat> What was the question? Ah, am I hiding? No. Mel, no. Yeah, are you hiding the fact that you do have knowledge of certain things related to the subject? Yes, I, no, I don't. I was I, I'm sticking by roughly what he said because he doesn't know what the void mm -hmm. thing yep. does. I think that's roughly what he said. He's sticking with that. So anything that he's obscured is kind of like, you know, that's just him being accidentally ambiguous. Yeah, it's not deliberate. That's fine. So yeah, yeah it's just because... Yeah, it doesn't really give uh, Zora anything to like, oh, you know more because I can see you're trying to hide things. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So Zora, what's your uh, reply to SK well, that you've like... counted the, the bodies in the room? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will look between just Nix and SK then, since I don't get anything from Ziggy Poo. Mm -hmm. I'll just be like, well, I mean, what do you think, Nix? Because she may know a bit more about the situation than me. And how do you feel the fact that Nix is... Like, this hasn't really came up much, but, like, Nyx is just visibly different, right? I mean... Like, white hair, gr like, white eyes instead of the green. All the lines across his body are now white instead of green. Like, yeah. <laughs> this all that, like, this is just android things at this point. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was waiting for all you androids. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, like... He knows, like, Nyx, and he would probably equate, like, um, Alice to being, like, the same ilk as well. So like, he'd probably just be like, this is just what Android's day. I mean, like, even though Nyx said it was an ab abnormality later, it's just, ah. I mean, I don't understand this, so, hey, the universe is crazy. I am a lizard that absorbs light and gravity. What do I do? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Yep, yep. Anything's possible. Uh, what is getting a bit robot just FYI, is anyone else hearing that? Who is? Uh, everyone. The pair of you were both. Uh, no. Sounds good to me. Oh, so I far. didn't notice. Must be your end, but like just be my brain. Not Seems like it might well be my end then. But yeah, so Zora, what's the? Uh, what is the statement you put to to Nix? Um. I would probably just look up and say, so what do you think? You seem to know more about the situation than me. Is it worth helping the Miss S. Kate? She looks at like, there's no Miss S. Kate. S. Kate's my title. Yes, yeah, sorry, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> and she just gets, like, there's a dirt, there is like a dirty look from her. <laughs> <laughs> like, she can't tell if you're fucking with her or if you're just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let her ponder that. Yeah, <laughs> she's got a lot to think about. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, whatever has been sealed away, it seems powerful. The fact that the Grace seemed concerned by it. 
And every like every word you say, you can see like SK is like studying you, just intensely. I am um, clearly trying to work out more. Obviously, mm -hmm. constantly rolling our sense motive checks in the background, you know. And I'm constantly being an android. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally just, I am delivering dialogue. You have found a new audio log. Would you like to play it now? <laughs> <laughs> There's five hidden uh, around the ship. Who knew the future was the Put it back. Well, He's away looking for the audio logs. Should have been a system shock reference. Let's <laughs> go back and wreck on that. Sodan <laughs> something something. There you go. Excellent. Thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> so do you walk in at this point then, Michael? No, I'm a sneaky boy. Okay. just... Do you want me to roll for being a sneaky boy? I think I roll really stealth. Yeah, go. Roll. I'm happy to do roll so. Roll me a stealth. Because I, I like the idea. That's me. I'll have to actually roll someone's perception, but uh, that's fine by me. I mean, that's that's all good, baby, baby. Okay, that's a good stealth. Let's see. Can I perceive past it though? Can I perceive him? <laughs> I got twenty-three, Colin. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> like, I can obviously can prove if need be, but. Okay, yeah. I believe you. I'd hope so. I believe but you. Yeah. The words of Harry Belafonte. Um. <laughs> I feel like. Is that, is that right? Is that my correct bonus for stealth? Like. What did, what did I roll? It's a lot of numbers. Yeah. So you rolled a seven, seven, which isn't great. And then you have a six, a three, a four, and a two <laughs> attached to it, because this system loves numbers. Um. No, that does seem right. Um. Yeah, it's just a bad roll. In my I part. think it's just that. Well, I rolled well, and Nick's rolled a fifteen to look at things with all the additional numbers attached to his looking at things skill. So. I'm looking. Yeah. Um. So. Who detects me then? Eh. Uh, oh, well. Presumably. Well, Nix and SK know you're there, but I think it's probably because Nix has got his back to the smuggling wall, um, mm -hmm. probably keeping an eye on like the captain and uh, SK. SK is staring at the doorway where you're like hiding, so I don't know if she's maybe just able to have spotted you walking up to the doorway and taking cover at the door. Um, so whether or not she's like, whether or not she specifically has acknowledged visually or verbally, you know. Is irrelevant. She's not said anything about it. I don't think Nick's has said anything about you being there. Unless Nick just uh -huh. goes, Lyco, what do you think about the current situation? I mean, as, as also, I changed the locker to the uh, <laughs> the locker code. <laughs> it's now <laughs> on a post-it note in the mess hall. <laughs> no, I think as, as abrupt as Nick is, he's probably been around Lyco enough to know that he likes skulking. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll speak up when it's relevant to him. Mm -hmm. And if he's keeping quiet, it's probably because he's got nothing immediate to add. And you might yes. be the only one that's noticed, right? You might be the only one that's actually noticed him. Whereas SK might not yeah. have noticed him because obviously you don't necessarily know that. Um, Zora, yeah, she's not said in. So. But I just I trust Lyco to be Lyco. If he's skulking, to yeah, he will pipe up if required. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and he's very rarely up to anything truly nefarious. Uh, <laughs> he's up to partially nefarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's just got a nefarious air about him. Yeah, I mean I can see that. <laughs> Edge um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> An air of nefar. Yeah. Um, An air of nefar. No, I, I think next five is probably. Too busy focusing on shenanigans. Of it. And I love that the conversation is like centralized with this corpse lying in the middle <laughs> of the cargo bay. Nobody is acknowledging, and I love that. <laughs> it's just in the middle where everybody's talking casually. <laughs> just in a day, and we need like a mercenary group name. <laughs> <laughs> A day in the fundamentals. Uh, your uh, mercenary group name is called With Regrets. With uh, <laughs> <laughs> Regrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, right, so Zora, it's on you, man. 
Yeah, I'll just be like, well, I mean, we've already got one universe threatening threat to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> You're a charisma primary. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. I mean, at this point, he's probably just fed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's like, well, another one? I mean... Mm. True, right. True that. Uh, what be celebrities by the end of this? Uh, <laughs> Pa- I don't think pa- that's passing tourists important. outside take pictures of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that next? I said I don't think that's the important thing here. I, th- I would go for we'll all be alive by the end of this. And then you just uh, see like S K mm. kind of like nod, like even if it's just the tilt of the head, you can see there's a, like an acknowledgement of the fact he's just like. This one seems to be the sensible one. <laughs> There's always a Viscarium. <laughs> you hear a, a very audible tut that echoes acro- like off the metallic walls of this room and it came from her and she wasn't subtle about it. <laughs> um, I would tut back. <laughs> can Visc... T- I would try. It would just be yeah. like a... <laughs> <laughs> I, I can Visc tut? That's... <laughs> Are you going to ask that? Yes! Can best touch. Yeah. I would try, but it would come out as a hiss. I would try, but it would come out as a hiss. Oh, it still just takes me back to Firefly. Am I a lion? <laughs> <laughs> just genuinely the best thing You're to come out of Firefly. Oh dear. Uh, right, so. <laughs> What's everybody else? Into it. Honest, honestly, Captain, I wouldn't be confident that there would be a Viscarium. Don't, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> Viscarium is eternal. <laughs> uh, I jest. <laughs> In Visc. We trust. Mm. Uh. Well then. So. So. Um. Egg hunting. Dragon hunting. Oh, I've always wanted to hunt a dragon. And she's a. Uh, she looks around, kind of casually, picks up her gun. And she's like, we didn't land in a particularly hospitable part of Versus, so... Also, we landed on a cold site. I would recommend you suit up. And then, uh, yeah, she kind of just looks at you pointedly and she's like, and no, the other one. Ah, good, the warm side. Cold places, don't like them. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, there's a... (laughs) Nope. He is not okay. (laughs) (laughs) Zig just falls between a couple of crates and just slowly (laughs) cries in a wee ball. (laughs) I mean, I'm a reptile. I wouldn't like cold places. (laughs) I I get it. Um... So, Lyco, I guess you've heard that uh, you're going to go egg and the dragon hunting, and that's pretty much what you've heard, besides what Nexus said about, oh yeah, there was this void egg, and the Grace was upset about it, and stuff. So what does Lyco make of all this that he's piecing together? I mean, that's that's really, uh, as, as a detective, my role, piece things together. Mm-hmm. Um, and he will with time. Um, for the now, I, I think what he, he's thinking is, okay, I'll go and get some protective gear and uh, load up my sniper rifles. Yeah, do you want to go off and do that then? I do indeed. Cool. Do you leave your stuff in the cargo bay? Like most people do? No. <laughs> obviously not. Um, Wait, is that is it that one or that one? That's, no, that's it? yours. Yours is the corner one, yeah. obviously. I, I literally always forget. Um... um 
but no, yeah. of course my sniper was in my room. Where else would it be? Yeah, but it's like hidden, like part of it's the fucking pipes under your like sink, and then <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you build up your rifle, you get your gear on. Um, every day with a uh, gear that's like sealing. Uh, I did not mean this. I guess like a. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Anytime you roll low, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. That was what I meant. <laughs> Physical science. <laughs> I like the idea that like Zig falls down between crates, upset, and then Zora just looks and goes, "Hmm, physics." <laughs> <laughs> was that me? Did I just <laughs> so Zora, change gravity? <laughs> Zora has understood that there is normal gravity on this planet. Um, yeah. So, like, you've not even told. Really, anyone else like where you, where you are, right? Only Zig and Zora know where you are. As well. Okay. Yeah. Um. So really, is the plan just to abandon the eleventh hour? Like, what is your plan here, Zora? It's a good question. Right. Um, because you've just kind of said, you've kind of just said, okay, S Kate. Women we wanted to kick off ships, but now seem to want to buddy up with and go to right, but now it'd be handy if we had a buggy. But, <laughs> um, let's not think about the past. Uh, <laughs> look forward to the future. <laughs> hey, you could try and uh, fix it. Um, you have a lot of spare parts around you, aka <laughs> the eleventh hour. Aww. But it is a good question. Hmm, what do we do about the ship? A little expedition. Just leave it to the assemblies, right? Just turn the power off, walk away, dust your hands off, and never look back. But I like this ship. <laughs> I like it here too. Do you want me to rig the self-destruct, Captain? No. <laughs> um, we get the inner monologue from a uh, next going. I will go unrig that now. <laughs> Slowly, just Homer Simpson through the hedge maze of that room <laughs> starts shuffling backwards. <laughs> doors open. He walks in. Doors close in front of him. <laughs> One day he's gonna forget about that. <laughs> uh, Brilliant. What I love is see this part of the ship. It looks like the ship's like just smoking. And I like that. <laughs> we can't exactly leave Alice here either this time. No, we take her with us. She's one of the crew. While they're discussing this, I would have left. By the way, I, I, obviously I'm doing this, I'm not returned. And I would inform Shakos and Alice of the current situation. Yeah, so why don't you head up to I'm the cockpit? I'm not going to tell anyone I'm doing that, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Are you calming them or going up to the cockpit once you've got your gear? No, just physically going in with my gear. Cool. So I'd say, like, if you weren't in armour, that's the self-sealant stuff, uh, then, which I don't think there's been any downtime, so you probably wouldn't have come out of it, right? Since coming back from getting Shakos. I don't think there's been any time where you've taken. That's true. So, Actually, good point. So I think you're in your armour, so you could just go and pick up your gun, really. Um, yeah. You did put your gun away, so yeah, it's, it, I'm thinking of the time it would take to put armour on, but you're in it, yeah. so yeah, you're good. And, um, uh... Head up to the clock myself through there. Yep. Uh, and then the room is just super, super bright. And you can see Alice, like, shielding her eyes, like, trying to feel for buttons and eventually, like, flicking onto the right buttons that, like, tint the windows um, to filter out the sun. It's very uncomfortably bright. I'll sort of um, lean over slightly. Right. The effect that you've got in the cockpit is now like when like a white screen is on in a dark room and it's yep. just blindingly bright. That's the kind of effect you've got in the cockpit with the amount of filters she's put on the screens. Um, do they notice me emerge into the room? Uh, probably not. They were too busy like trying to like sort out the fact that so much light was coming in. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll sort of just loom slightly over Alice. And uh, suddenly announce. Um, what, no, um, I want, I want, I want to do something slightly better than that. So let me get. No, actually, I don't have a good line. Fuck it, he's gonna barge in, loom over while she's unexpecting, and then just immediately announce. Uh, I'd suit up. 
And I think at that point, both of like Shakos and Alice probably both like yelp a little bit at the same time. Go ah! And like both turn and look at you. And like Shakos has got her knife in one hand, and <laughs> Alice's hand has got some weird, <laughs> like pink lightning in it. We're 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 uh you know, going outside. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if you're. Are. Do you have to be worried about the environment now? Should I be worried about the environment now? And she just looks like uncomfortable looking at you. It's hot. Right. And she looks at her hand. And she looks at her other hand with the kind of crackling lightning. And she stops that. And then she switches it to be like kind of weird kind of like orangey flame. And she goes and touches one hand into it. And she she go, ow, yes, I'm worried. Okay. Uh, so that's good to know. Um, and you see her starting to like suck on her finger. Yeah, uh, Shakos. And Shakos looks at you and looks at Alice and then looks back and he goes, So, uh, you got a suit that she can wear? Probably. I mean, we've got to have a spear, don't we? You really just have like a vac suit. Right. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's uh, too much to ask for. Yeah, right. Let, let, let's assume we do because, like, um, we we would have had the stuff like the basic equipment because mm -hmm. I did have stuff like. Yeah, um, it's I, just that I, you I guys now wear your better armors. So that's all. Yeah, as vac suits. Um, um, but for her, yeah, like she would need to be equipped with like a regular clunky ass vac suit. Um. I, so I kind of didn't uh, get you the batteries um maybe ask the captain just like don't even know she look like, don't even think she's got the like the energy to look disappointed she still just looks tired i guess um because she's not really had much in the way of rest you know uh so yeah she's like right where is the captain, and how do I get there? And she can uh, like I she like stands up and just like puts an arm over your shoulder expectantly. <laughs> yeah, I would honestly have let her help her off if she was looking like, physically tired, if you see what I mean, rather mm -hmm. than just drained. Yeah, well, uh, well keep in mind she was smacked about her room as well. Yeah. Look, if it's any consolation. We're going dragon hunting. She like <laughs> does like a laugh in one exhale, like ha, huh. and then she just looks at you like seriously. I think that's as we like use head out the cockpit door. Um, so as you head out the cockpit, let's go back to the wonderful cargo bay. What wonderful decisions or questions are being made in the cargo bay? I mean, at this moment I'm probably just sold on the idea and getting ready. <laughs> so I'm probably just at the the rack of guns and stuff and just getting yeah, set up. I've just assumed it's those three crates at the door, to be honest. Makes sense, right? Yeah. And not like your pile of grain at the top. <laughs> Remember, this is where I can sell the grain. <laughs> on versus, yeah, sure. I think it's a pretty added zone right now. I mean, it's probably some starving people. I mean, probably. You can advantage, uh, to help them. You can just quit and go open a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Love the idea. Of, like Zora with a big straw hat and the bit of a. Uh, uh, was it like wheat or something in, <laughs> in, in the teeth? Just standing, <laughs> leaning on the Doshko that's got like a plough kind of or kind of like kind of shovel end to it instead. Like leaning on that as a spaceship flies off in the distance from a starport, thinking that was that used to be me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the end oh, comes up. <laughs> well, we know how Zora's uh, Zora's retirement plan on versus <laughs> as a sun farmer. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So you start getting set up. What does Zig do? Um, I think Zig looks a little lost right now. Yeah. Um, 
um, whilst whilst everyone sort of just disperses to get all suited and booted. Um, and then I suppose he would act, he would go and try and find some form of has to accept. I was I was, try, I was just trying to have a quick scroll through and see if the oh is there any sort of like um, you know is he immune to any sort of harmful intense heat and no not yet. <laughs> Yeah, but like your spacesuit will protect you from environmental problems. Um, okay, that's for a bit. Then. Like I think it's is it the level of the spacesuit times it twenty four hours? Is that what it is, Alex? I yeah, feel like it was something like yeah. that. Something it was something, something like, that. like that. Yeah, I think it's in that random tiny armor section. Some environmental like protections. All armor protects you from a range of hazards to ensure that you can survive for at least a few days. If you may, must make emergency repairs to the hold of the spaceship. Explore an alien world or undue exposure to an environmental breach. Yeah. So, the suits oh, cool. you've got on board. Yeah, the suits you've got on board aren't going to be great for Alice though, because they're going to be like the basic models, because none of you spent money upgrading them. Um, uh huh. So, Alice is going to have a rough time getting anywhere. F like, not so much fast, but she won't have as much protection as your super high level gear will. Yes. Because you just have like. I think, what, just shy of a week worth of protection built into your suits, and she'll have like a day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Take her my vest, bring it to my hand, I don't know, it's fine. <laughs> just <laughs> just so put, put her into it, seal it up, wrap a rope around it, just drag it. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this takes us up to 60 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So it actually doesn't take us up that high. It does not, but it's enough to make a run, right? Or again, Vacation. had you a buggy? Perhaps. I'm working on it. So yeah, I think while while Zora's um, suiting up and getting out, getting himself out, Ziggs maybe just kind of sitting, looking between every day in the room, kind of a bit lost, not really knowing what to do. We'll give Zora a chance to maybe notice that in a second. But yeah, I think um, if Nick's five is over at the kind of <laughs> remnants of the buggy, I think uh, S. Kate will kind of. Uh, like set her gun down, walk over and be like, like kind of lift the tarpaulin up a bit, look at it, and be like, "Can you get this thing running?" Sure. Hopefully, we won't have to use any weird crystal magic. <laughs> and, uh, How large is the yes. buggy? Sorry. Uh, it can fit like four people in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember the exact size. I think it's just in the core book, isn't it? And I think yeah. three passengers. So it's one oh, pilot and three passengers. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like exploration buggy, I think it's called specifically. Yeah. Nice one. Level one. Yep. Three hundred fifty feet speed. Yeah. So it's five feet wide, ten feet long, and four feet high. Which doesn't seem like much because of how big your character tokens are. Mm -hmm. But let me just go fit this in, squeeze together. If I move her back, and I go back to the map layer, and I move the rubble out of the way. Uh, like <laughs> that is those dimensions, which is bizarre. It just doesn't seem like it. Mm. Or a cool little speaker thing. Uh, Zig, can you fetch me my tools, please? Right, and he'd run around. I assume he'd kind of know where Nix would keep him, keep his Hello. stuff. D do you? Like, yeah, m yeah, most of my stuff is on me oh. anyway. But yeah, um, there'll be just bits and pieces. Yeah, the bigger stuff I don't have on me. Pry bars and yeah, yeah. like when like we were building stuff in the past and yep. her little father son esque projects, <laughs> <laughs> android son projects, yeah, <laughs> uh, just yeah. little son projects, right? So, user, you head to the cargo bay, yeah, uh, yeah, sir. that's for a uh, Lyco. Mm -hmm. cool. Right, so these are only cargo B, minus Alice and the ooze, I guess. You guess? 
Um, well, the Ooze is technically in a cargo bay. I wasn't going to be that, you know. It's just in its own cargo bay. But yeah, so you you help Shakos in there. Um, yeah. I guess point her to a suit. She starts suiting up. She looks at it and goes, I better not die in this. Looks at you. Like, puts the knife, like, holds it up against your chest as if hold this while I suit up. <laughs> yeah, I will obviously take the knife for her. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Zara, how many of your guns are here? All of them. So they don't get kept in your quarters? No, all the guns are in the, the armory. <laughs> I thought that was your quarters. <laughs> <laughs> the arm- yeah, I probably do if you will home in the armory. <laughs> and uh, as Shakos is sitting up, she's like, hey big guy. Like kind of smacks you on yes. the arm and, uh, as she's like stepping into the big vac suit thing. She's like, Hook a girl up. She like, n- like nods at the weapon rack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, help yourself. <laughs> just don't break any. And Lyco just gets <laughs> Lyco just sees like a big toothy grin from her as she smirks at him, as if she's pleased by this development. Um so yeah, what are you gonna give her? Out of your equipment list? Uh just give him a laser rifle azimuth, because that's yeah. literally the only other thing I've got. <laughs> yep, that works for me. Yep. Um, I love how was it Lyco that carried a bunch of random laser pistols or laser rifles? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> yeah. I love how I ask the captain for stuff. Lyco's room, his mattress is in fact draw laser rifles. And it's like, nah, these are mine. Look, I didn't <laughs> steal their ammo. She'd only have what was in them, so it wouldn't have been any better. <laughs> I would just kind of like... intend to sell those. <laughs> <laughs> are you strapped for cash? Like... No, no. but, like, it's just another avenue, you know? It's an investment. Yeah, but to be fair, just goods to barter. Green. Yeah, goods yeah, to barter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, like, I could arm a small rebellion with them, you know? I could feed a small colony. <laughs> yeah, feed a small rebellion. Um, <laughs> I love how you just keep saying the word rebellion randomly into like plans. <laughs> just my <laughs> rebel. <laughs> oh, just I would also point towards a crate and say ammo's in there. Yeah, and she uh, she then just looks at Lyco and like she like throws the the gun to Lyco and she's like, load it up for me while I set up. Or something like so load, load while I lock, some bullshit kind of <laughs> cocky. Like, just holding a knife in one hand, yeah. like trying to hold two rifles in the other. Yep. I think it's maybe you're holding your rifle in one hand, you've got the knife in the other, she throws it, you kind of like arm grab it across your chest with the two guns, and she's like, I go load that up for me. And she's like suiting herself up in this big clunky. I, I, would, I, would, I will place them down and do that. Yeah, cool. It was Sigdon. Um, oh, Zig's getting thingy's tools, or attempting to. Yeah, so you run all the way through. Do you take the shortcut through the ship, through the secret walls, or do you just maintain the illusion that there are no secret walls and go around the long way? Um, oh, that's a good question. I think I would, would I think I would, uh, you know, jump out of the room and like climb into a little vent so that no one sees me. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're out of the room where everybody's in, so no one can see you now anyway. So you could literally oh, yeah. just walk. What I meant was, yeah. this is you can go through this, because this is a, a fake wall. This is your smuggling oh, compartment. No, I, I just maintain the yeah. illusion. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like this is actually an exit ramp, as well, like a lift out of your ship. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you go. Yeah, go out. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You head through, grab tools, and if that's all you're doing, you can just head all the way back. Uh, you walk into the room, the ooze just jiggles a little. <laughs> that's it. And, like, vaguely acknowledge its existence as I walk in. Like, yeah. Mm. Like, greetings, good. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like kind a captor. Old friend just that's been there forever. Yeah. Part of the furniture. Okay, Capturing it, little. never feeding it. Yeah. Incarceration. No, <laughs> Self sustaining. Oh, it's had to for a year. <coughs> um, you run back because what is it you even find? Like, uh, next, what is something that would be lying vaguely tool shaped on half a desk? <laughs> um, Since there's okay. half a desk here. <laughs> so I've got all the engineering kit and stuff kind of already on me. Yeah. So it is things that you've mostly used to tear apart escape pods. 
Yep. So bolt cutters, uh, kind of large crowbars, big hammer. So which one of this those do you want to bring? Zig hammer, crowbar, or bolt cutters? I think Zig will but do you know what? Bolt hammer. cutters. Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't jump them, you can we can call it a hammer if you want. No, nope. oh, sorry. Bolt the bolt hammer. I thought we were digging there by accident. The bolt hammer. <laughs> it's the bolt hammer. The bammer. <laughs> <laughs> the bammer. Um, the bammer. So yeah, you've got the bolt hammer. Hand it to a. Yes. Hand it to a. Next five. A, I think. Obviously, SK is just going to be waiting. I guess on you guys because she's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I think they could hand it over with that kind of like. Unsure whether or not he's supposed to, act like he's guilty for something or if he's everything's okay. That sort of um like. Uh, do you still sort of, am I in trouble or do you hate me <laughs> sort of look whether or not anyone picks that up is relevant. Um, I think next five knows something's up, but there's a task at hand. Yeah, so pri priorities alas. <laughs> yeah. Yes, excellent. Feeling uh, second, vroom vroom first. <laughs> vroom, vroom first. Thank you, Zig. Let's get to work. Uh, what can we salvage from the drive? Well, why don't you roll engineering, right, as your assessment, right, and we'll see how well the whole process goes. So this will be like your role for assessing the, the project and executing the project, right? And we'll just see how well we do. Okay. So it's going to take you a couple of hours, minimum. So mm -hmm. I love that everything's suiting up super quick. It's like, my right guys, I need two hours. <laughs> um, but does that save us two hours? Probably. Uh, it probably saves you a lot more than two hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking, I mean, yeah. Like, definitely. Like, he's got a buggy. The problem is soon to be revealed. <laughs> so. Well, I wonder if there's probably going to be a problem. Can I tell I the future? <laughs> 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 So, things Nix 5 will have to do to the ship. The ship needs a shipyard to fix it. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. But you've known that for at least a session. Um, but it now needs a shipyard to get working. Mostly because there's not really an engine anymore. Um, you can get enough power cells cobbled together um, to a, uh, you know, power something smaller though you could build some heavy duty power cells out of what's left of the engine and the engine room components to get that sorted uh, and that would power your your buggy as it were your explosion buggy uh, if you spend three hours on it you could probably reinforce the buggy to be a bit more resistant to the elements as well uh, so it wouldn't just be a case of a skateboard with a vac suit on it, like you guys would be. It might actually help take the strain off your vac suits. You spent three hours on that. Um, but as soon as you start this project, you're going to be sacrificing the protection the ship offers. And obviously permanently crippling the ship where it is without it being recovered and then taken to a shipyard. But it would probably take you days to get this thing in a, some condition to move anyway. Cool. Let's tear it to pieces. Yeah. So what you're saying is. Yeah. Nice. Well, let's see what <laughs> next. Screwed. So screwed. Next. <laughs> so you, you spend like a couple minutes looking at the, the buggy about what you've done to the buggy. I did say a lot of it was quite surgical that you'd done to it. Mm -hmm. And then you've went back and you've went, right, what's left in the engine room? Uh, or just the ship components in general? Uh, you make your assessments, you get that knowledge. Uh, do you go back and tell people? No. Nope. Cool. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the ship's engineer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so, uh, I'd say like, yeah, like that can just be underway. Uh, 
So I think S Kate just is like what's keeping your uh, mechanic? She says to the room in general after maybe ten minutes of you having assessed it. You can't hurry genius. And then she like smirks and goes to say something and then stops herself. That was that was that was rude, SK. I'm not actually saying this. <laughs> <laughs> It's taking a while. I'll I'll go see what's happening, Cap. Would not. See while he's doing that. And um this is like such a, a next thing to do. And it, it, <laughs> tell me if this is cheesy as well. Can I use profession to like use my last couple incendiary grenades and set up some booby traps? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Cool. Uh, Why not? Indeed. Like, somebody's got like to go to my just, shop. Just in like your, your locker, like <laughs> just you know, this keeps these drow out of my locker. Now she's had a look at it, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I smell, smell just believing the ship by itself. Many um, grades do you actually have on you? Three. Three. Many do you want to turn into traps? All of them. Where? The entrances to the ship. Uh, I mean, no, 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 Lyco. I mean, they're going to be trap wires. You can step over them. Did like, Zora not mention like... their immunity to fire? Now? <laughs> <laughs> the lake. I mean, they're in the desert. You're probably right, but I mean, hey, let's just ignore that. I want some baby traps. <laughs> <laughs> I want some people to burn if they go in my shop. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. Like, let's see why not. Um, but yeah, they're going to be like rid of it. They're, they're like Rambo style booby traps. It's like I'm using my profession here on the engineer. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. right. Uh, in fact, how many entrances? Have we got three entrances to this ship? Or is it only. I mean, can't remember. so just the bank too. you've got the ramps. Here and here. And then you've got the lift here in the middle. Okay, okay. Um, but that's like your smuggler entrance, right? Yeah, I'm going to assume that Nabda gets in the lift. So what I'm going to do is I'll rig the cockpit entrance and I'll rig the two cargo bay entrances. <laughs> There's a cockpit uh, entrance. I thought Rig one entrance with all of them, just to no, be no, no, <laughs> no. Make sure I love the idea that you, you, in somewhere. you rig all three on one door and just leave through the other door. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then you break that door so that it won't open at all. And then when you just go back in, it explodes. You have to use, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Also, next, I think I owe you this. This should probably be like in. I guess let's just dump it here. I'm gonna tint it as well. I think uh, to be a ridiculous danger color. Danger color. Yes. It's um. This. I feel like he did. He did build something like this a while back. He it, it, it bought. He bought a bomb and gave me it, but I didn't use it. So uh, you, you have a bomb. You don't need yeah. to drive any of them. Uh, oh no! But I don't want the bomb. I don't want to blow up the whole ship. I just want whoever walks through the. The entrance to burn. <laughs> so I will rig it up. You could do it. You could take the idea if you see me doing booby traps, but oh, we're, we're doing that now. Right, cool. <laughs> right, so. I, right, roll me engineer or profession. Yeah, profession it was going to be. Cool. Uh, well, shift double click. Just remember that. So mm -hmm. good. It is so good, isn't it? Uh, Rigging traps. Boom. Five. Yeah. Seems fine. They look reasonable. Yeah, so. Well, what you've done is you've got duct tape, string, and the grenade. Yeah. 
and yeah, you exactly. tied the string the to the pin. <laughs> and you're going to duct tape both the grenade and the string to different locations. So when something opens, it pulls exactly. the pin. Exactly. I didn't say they were going to be genius traps. I mean, <laughs> very rudimentary. Right, okay. So you should be able to move those tokens. Yeah. Uh, I can't. No? No. Strange. Where would you like them to be? Right, so... One here? Yes. <laughs> one here? Yes. And, what, like, one here, or... Like... Put it in the, car, the cockpit entrance. <laughs> but, obviously, um... As I'm obviously setting this up, I will tell Alice is in the cockpit, not so, the trapper. <laughs> I'm going to just mark them just now, so that they're not active. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I will set them up as we are going out. I will, I will do the fin finishing touches. Cool. And I'm just going to string. <laughs> yep, the duct tape and string. And there's <laughs> the other bomb there. My God. Well, like, where would you even keep that bomb? In fact, Zora, because it's your bomb, I guess. Like, did, like, where, where did you put it? Um, it's probably still in whatever I keep all my equipment in. So, like, assuming in like here a bag. somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? Do I have a backpack? I'm gonna dump, I'm gonna dump it there. Got really big pockets. <laughs> I think everybody's got a backpack. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Backpack is assumed. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So it's probably still in the same kit that I had on Absalom because I probably didn't put all that back in place. I probably just put the bag down mm -hmm. as I got on the ship. So yeah, it's probably just sitting round about where the other stuff that I was getting ready anyway is. Okay, cool. Right, so. I... What's everybody else doing? So. Zora's okay. running around, like, taping things to things and putting grenades in places. So I think SK just looks on quietly as this happens. I love this ship. <laughs> <laughs> and she puts, like, both her hands up yeah. as she, like, turns and she puts both her hands up like I didn't say anything, you know. <laughs> Your eyes were speaking many words. <laughs> I, I'm checking, um, I don't know, to see if we have internet. <laughs> uh, you do not know. Uh, no spinter webs. There is no signal. It's almost as if uh, there's interference. Throws down pad and frustration. <laughs> And then uh, you just hear it like Shakos like unzip the uh, the helmet of the Evac suit and go. <gasps> it's very hot in here. When are we leaving? I mean, I was gonna go and ask, but then I get distracted by the uh, various things that were being done, including rules. So uh, yeah, let's just imagine that I had done that. Okay. Um. So who would you have asked? A resident engineer, So, like, maybe, maybe, like, Shakos asks this question anyway, and then you just go, and what, what, past her to get the answer? Like... Uh, in fact, yeah, you know what, I can, I can go, oh yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will actually go and do the thing that I said I was going to do. Why did I get my side tractor? Any road up. Um, I think it was the baby traps. Probably. I honestly think they just take over all gameplay and replace <laughs> the movie track. Um, I will politely chaff actually, rather than move straight in. Um, yeah, probably like Nexus probably opened all the doors, to be honest, and kept them open, right? I imagine you want efficiency here. Yep, I'm just shuffling backwards and forwards. I'd nonetheless politely chaff in the door frame. Mm -hmm. um, will I go? What's the. What's the situation? I'm fixing the buggy, then we can leave. Do we have a time frame? It will take a few hours, tops. Uh, yeah, a few hours. 
Yep. I think everyone's going a little stir crazy already. The captain's. The captain's got string. <laughs> yes. I don't know, but it can be good. <laughs> He's probably just planning things again. I think there's just that look between the two of you <laughs> for a second longer than is normal as that hangs in the air. <laughs> when have probably I, just I've planning things again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Flashes to the elevator. <laughs> there's a story behind it. Um, uh, one issue we do have, Lyco, you may mm -hmm. want to discuss numbers with the crew. Yeah, that buggy isn't the biggest. No. The difficulty I'm having is... <sighs> we... Well... I, I'm not an expert by any means, in fact, I'm not even passable, but it strikes me that a ship without any sort of power source probably doesn't sustain life long. I'll try to take the power source out, all of it out, as late as possible. Um, but yes, I think the others... There may have to be a walking party who we come back for. Make what progress they can and... Okay. Um, Shakas needs to be in the first lot to go. Okay. It's a pragmatic decision, believe me. She has our cast-offs, essentially. She isn't prepared for this. We... eh, might be. Add an extra hour onto it, and you could probably make her something better. Uh, just for you, uh, next five. Mm -hmm. But it would be four hours' work you're looking at at this point. Assuming you want to reinforce the buggy. I want to reinforce the buggy, but we're going to end up in limited gains. Yep, yep. Cool. But um, you, first of all, like, do you know your own verses? Is that a thing that Next Five actually knows? I don't think so, right? So Next Five um, doesn't know where you are, except that you're on the sunny side, and I don't yeah. know if I'd have picked that up from the context clues of yeah, because cold side, cold side. Th yeah, because obviously Zora and Zig had the the verses conversation with her before you got in the room. So I know, like, Lyco doesn't even know. Just knows it's yeah. right outside. So you don't really know where you need to drive to. To Oh, I have one of those compasses. But then that always points to Absalom. So, right. uh, yeah. No, what does it always point to? Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. No, Absalom, the, um... Mm. Right? Which is now got... Okay. Oh, fuck. Right? I hadn't even thought of that. I hadn't even thought of that. I'd forgotten I had the item. Mm, why do you think I was excited for you to have it? Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is something that I should probably. <laughs> like who looks at Campus going, it can't be that easy. Looks <laughs> at Campus, it's free real estate. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so. Could probably rig track or something better, but it would be four hours work because you'd need to find material from everywhere else. Let's face it. I I have an environmental suit that she can wear underneath. It's uh, set up for dust storms, but it should be some benefit. Be a start, yeah. Um, what are you doing then? Zig has those, like, shiny sheets of tinfoil as well, I guess. Well, I have got probably the most sealed armor of anyone from the aesthetic perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty high <laughs> level. Yeah, if I can war machine armor. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, uh, I've, I've got the best chance in this gear. And like, like, like do you want to make a f physical sciences or life sciences? I don't really care which one. Do you want to make one? Uh, okay. Let me see. It it literally doesn't matter which I do because they're, they're no. <laughs> right. Um. It doesn't look conducive to living outside. Yeah. From what you've seen, from how much she had to filter down the cockpit light. Mm -hmm. The cockpit window, I guess. Um. So yeah, and at this point in time, you've got what is it? Four, five, six, seven, seven people, and the ooze. I think that's right. Seven people and the ooze and the corpse. Mm -hmm. Actually, you just giving me an idea. Right. Does it, does it involve the term skin suit? Because I'm really upset. No, it doesn't. Um. <laughs> uh. The ooze. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Yes. It seems to be quite capable of vomiting out inorganic structures. So you want to go and throw things at it until environmental suits appear? Essentially, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much my plan. I was thinking a car, but I mean... Uh, <laughs> 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 Three D, you wouldn't three D print a car. <laughs> if we were hey, it does like IR sensors and everything, right? So, uh, Ellen still has that in her pocket. Or her shades? No, I think you made shades for, her, didn't you? <laughs> I forget. Too long ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you mentioned pushing like, the helmet. Yeah. Um. Yes, it's uh. It's a solution. I think if we were in more of a rush, I would laugh, but uh, we've got a few hours. You can see what you can rustle up. I'll enlist some help in that. Uh... I think Zig would enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. Um, <laughs> guess I'll look for non-essential parts. At this stage, that's most of the ship. Oh. Guess I'll look for... an axe. And then, see <laughs> that point, right? When he says, that's most of the ship now. Like, what's Lyco's initial... reaction to that? Like, maybe not visibly, but like internally? Like, is he sad at this? Like, I mean, I guess this kind of has been his home for the last couple of years. It's... I think in the moment, I don't think he's terribly affected by it. Mm -hmm. I think he's more... Yeah, that frees me. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's a positive development. I'm not going to say that, you know, he necessarily is unattached to the ship, but I don't think he has the same degree of attachment that others might. Mm. Um, now, keep in mind as well, guys, just this is a general P PSA. Uh, all the equipment you just can't necessarily carry. Right, is obviously going to be left on the ship. Mm. So why not throw it in the pile of stuff Nix can use to speed up this? Do you mean all your laughing? Mm -hmm. That's mm. a good point. Just as an option, you know. Uh, okay. Um, that actually gives me an idea. How many? How many laser rifles did I steal again? I have no idea. There's a few. It's Definitely like four, or five, wasn't it? I sl let's just say it's four. Roll a d6. That's we're addressing. <laughs> yeah, we'll just see how ridiculous it was. Okay. Oh. Cool. So it was six. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have me? Uh, anyway. Because um, it was four plus whatever you rolled. Ah, oh, cool. Um, okay. Because I kind uh, of remembered four, and then I thought, I no, I, I feel like they would have carried more. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna take some of the laser rifles I looted, and mm -hmm. kind of a waste, you know, but, eh. Uh, let me just... 
can you can you use them? I could perhaps use parts of them. Because there will be shielding in them, right? Um, be right back. And capacitors and focusing lasers and if nothing else, you could build six laser guns onto the buggy. You just sort of hear a, a kind of <laughs> crashing noises from <laughs> from the bunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, know if, I don't know if Nick hears any of that from ripping open the engine room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, return with like just two arms full of <laughs> of uh, of guns. So you're giving him all six, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm going to drop three of them for for him. <laughs> Take three for me. Mm. Uh, see if see if you can see if you can use those. I'm going to go and. I'm gonna go and throw these at these. Do um, we have fine. anything with wheels? Apart from the buggy. That's a good question. I don't think we do. Eh, uh, take me further down that thought train, please. <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> like? What do you need wheels well, for? Something. That... A second buggy. I think that you think a trailer. <laughs> that would be yes. Or if it wasn't well, I'm taking a trailer for a very specific purpose. Right, okay. Because we've got trailer. three escape pods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Escape pods are support life. That would give us enough space to take all. So you're going a bit enough, You're going a bit. Yeah, you're a bit robotic for me as well this time. Right, so we've got. Oh, sorry. Escape pod on the trailer. Go from there. Yeah, so you got escape pods, which are environmentally steel. Mm -hmm. You could slap on a trail and the bug lower, but it would mean we wouldn't. Hmm. Interesting theory. <coughs> I only heard some of it, but my assumption is uh, put people in escape thing. pods, trail escape pods, oh. hope for the best. I heard it would be slower, but we wouldn't. And I'm presuming you meant have to do a return trip. I heard nothing. I heard nothing. Discord was wonky for me earlier as well, so it's not just him that said it. Because um, I was definitely hearing everyone else have fucky audio, but no one else was hearing it, so. Yeah, let's try that again. You right. sound crystal clear there. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, so the idea was we've got escape pods, which are environmentally sealed. You could slap those on a trailer and tow them. Which would slow the buggy down, but we wouldn't have to do two trips. Yeah, like towing three escape pods on that buggy. Mm, like if you if you bailed on, like um, like shielding the buggy, mm -hmm. you could probably give the thing. What's the word? Torque. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More torque. Yeah. So yeah, hmm, hmm. That might be the idea. So, no shielding. <laughs> no <Yep>. shielding, great. <laughs> this this is better. Really go well. Like you probably don't you have time not... to do. You could probably do two escape pods, no shielding, mm -hmm. no sh suit for shackoffs, but improve buggy speed, get buggy built. Uh, jury rig Shackles trailer. An escape pod. Yeah, right. Put Shackles in an escape pod. Uh, Put and trailer two of them. Yep. yep. Uh, escape walks, and we're fine. Yeah, like escape actually is like the husky <laughs> in front of the buggy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, right. That's a potential plan. Yeah. That is my preferred plan now. Some change of direction. Right. So. Let's see. It kind so, of after you mentioned the ooze, and I pictured the ooze being carried on. Yeah, like some kind of big thing. fucking palanquin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The ooze palanquin. Uh, it is, is the perfect. Uh, Let's right. do that to us. So, oh. Two hours for ship. Uh, uh, not ship, sorry. Two hours for buggy. One hour for speed buggy. Oh, that's speed buddy. Um, power buggy, <laughs> power buggy. Speed buddy. And then a uh, one <laughs> hour for a uh, trailer 
shenanigans. I feel like this fits into the fact that I've just got the expert rig and the miracle worker skills. Right, yeah. And like <laughs> the two hours for the buggy also include like pulling apart like a skate pod, so like three hours total for the buggy escape pod nonsense, one hour is the power upgrade. Um mm -hmm. and then maybe, depending on what everybody else provides you with, you might have enough stuff to speed up some of that. Um yep. right, so let's do this, right? So Lyco write type in the pile of stuff. So this is a pile of gear. Right. Okay. Type in what you're providing to Nix5 for the operation. Let's make the buggy a fucking hot rod. Um, or a fucking monster truck, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> Towing two, two escape pods like just newlyweds. <laughs> uh, what else do I have? <laughs> do you oh, know screw it. I never. No, I, I can't get rid of all of my guns. Yeah, I can. And you can have two times. Shooty pistol. <laughs> These are the old man guns pistols? No, I can't get rid of them, can I? Ah oh, man, they're awesome. I can't. I have to keep them. No, I have to keep them. They're, they're so... Yes, they're a set of three, right? Um, that were all individual also, guns. <laughs> um, I would be quite willing to give up my pulse caster, though. Okay, yeah. Is that a thing that you got from the stewards? Uh, no. No. Is that what you're keeping a hold of? Postcaster pistol. That, that I haven't put that in the actual. I just realised I didn't put that in the thingy screen. Commodore. Actually, I probably would. What was it? It should be my character sheet. Yeah, it check. should be. Yeah. Because I think that gun I'd probably be willing to give up. It's mm -hmm. a postcaster pistol, I should say. Um, oh, so this is the same for like if used to loop other people into this, they can also provide stuff yeah. for the thing because there is like four hours of this project and less use can knock time off it. It was an arc rifle, and I can't shoot it for shit. I only get a plus two attack bonus. Yeah, so I guess it's up to you if you give it's it to good, other it's people a or. Powerful weapon. Yeah. So yeah. it should be useful, is my thinking. Mhm. Mm it's a D12 for fuck's sake. Um. Yeah, it is. It's a good gun. Also, somebody probably wants to give Zig a pistol at some point. Nonsense. <laughs> now you're talking nonsense. I can throw my Dutch pistol. Mm -hmm. Again, keep in mind it's only a few. Wait, Dirge pistol. Yeah. I thought you said Doge pistol first. I heard no. Doge <laughs> pistol, but I just That's accepted it. Something. It's all in character. Okay. So a fair. I mean, if you're, that's a fair pile of stuff already. Um, I like the idea that Lyco's way of helping us. I have all these guns. Can you guns. make the shit? Can you make the buggy go faster? <laughs> I love it. It's good. But like, the arc rifle is going to be pretty good for a uh, power generation, so... Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> so, That's so good. <laughs> uh, right, so Lyco and Nix5, are you just going to go tell MDL this new plan? Would Nix5 ever? Probably not. Nope. nope. So it's really up to Lyco. Um... <laughs> I, I'll, I'll throw the three guns into the ooze and then remember I should probably tell other people. Alright, so you're going to disable the ooze field, toss them in. Oh, that's a good point, yes, I'll have to disable it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, um, in the year of not studying it, I feel like... Nix, have you taught Lyco how to turn the field on and off? <laughs> that I just seems to... like a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry. I think for safety purposes, I pointed out the switch on button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. If you come in and the field is off, press this button. Yeah. <laughs> it can be inter intermittent sometimes. <laughs> Flash I'll get back around to the Benny Hill theme tune with you lifting a fucking crate and scooping up the ooze. Do I, need, I don't need to roll to turn it off though. Because no. I don't no. No. I would okay, like. Nope. What is your computing like level? I mean, it isn't. Roll. Oh yeah, it's fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, I forgot. Of course, <laughs> I'm an operative. Yeah. Um. You operate things. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. You bloop cool. bloop bloop bloop. And uh, literally just lob three of them in simultaneously. 
Right, let me find out what the stats of these things actually are. Uh, what are the... is it azimuth laser rifle? I think they were. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so... Right. right, cool. And are you literally just throwing them in and seeing what happens? Or are yeah. you doing anything else? <laughs> well, I, I honestly probably won't even wait to see what happens. I'll throw them in, walk off. <laughs> I'll come back when I have more shit to throw in. <laughs> yeah, sure. Right, you do that. And you walk off. And... Where'd you go? To the others. Cool. Um. So... Uh, any spare pieces of tech, if you could give them to myself or Nix, Nix is going to use them to make the buggy go, and and, and I'm going to throw things into the ooze, and <laughs> hope it makes use of stuff. <laughs> I have flares. We're not going to need flares in this sunshine, yeah, uh, I, I, I'll take them. Go and we'll give him about <laughs> ten flares. Nice. <laughs> ten flares. Got the spell vest. Leave me with five. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got basically all this stuff. It's just gonna get left here and the wine is scavengers to get and I click kind of kick forward a crate. Um, I'll just. Type it, what yeah, it's got. please do. Yeah. So we've got a list of absolute bullshit. I just love that the map of the ship now has broken escape pods, a dodgy crystal engine, a broken buggy at the moment, rubble, three bombs lying around strategic locations, Look, one unknown things right, one unknown mystical bomb, uh, <laughs> <laughs> an ooze. Oh dear. Uh, let me see here what else we got. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot how to. Right, this. so while while Nico's typing it up, Alex, are you nixing your way over there for a reason? I am, yes. Yeah, so maybe we'll follow you then while he's typing up. Mhm. Mm so you head off to the cockpit. Yes. You I see, it, to the you cockpit. see, you see above the door. There's like hidden in a vent, uh, just a a piece of string that goes into the vent with a bit of loose tape waiting to be stuck to the door. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. The captain is planning. Yep, yep. Always. Forever. Yeah. Uh, just walk into the cockpit. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. And I'm carrying like, a suit of armor. Okay. It's uh, hidden in my backup armor. So that last part again, sorry, it's your backup armor. What was before that? It was the hidden soldier armor. It's a heavy suit of armor. Oh, okay. So it should be. Because we realise Alice mm -hmm. probably doesn't have any. And yeah, she looks at it and she's like, oh. And looks at you. Uh, I think you're going to need to wear this, Alice. She looks at it. And she looks at herself. And she looks at it and she goes, And uh, what would she say? So I'm wondering if she would make a joke about her figure, given her figure used to be a giant bulky power suit. <coughs> um, but I can't quite think of one. I'm not, you know, awake enough to think <laughs> of a, a, a quip line. Imagine, if you will, a line that involves her making a joke about how skinny it will make her look, um, <laughs> compared to what she used to look like. How slimming? I think she'll say. There you go. <laughs> oh, very funny. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, three hours sleep every day. Three hours sleep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she stands up off the chair, like lifts up the kind of armor. It's a bit heavier than she's used to because she now obviously clearly isn't power armor levels of strength anymore. Um, mm. And she's like, "How do I put it on?" Uh, you place it on the ground, step into it one leg at a time. Right. And she kind of like, do you pass it to her, or yeah, like she just kind of like drops it to the ground. Uh, let me help you with that. Takes a, a bit of work to get used to. She kind of like smiles and just like nods, 
quickly as if this is the best option. Thank you. Um, mm. And then yeah, just awkwardly yeah. help her into the the armor. Yeah, arrange it on the ground and uh, get her to step into it slowly. Nice. What does that do in terms of uh, stats? Uh, so that is plus three EAC, plus five KAC, reduces speed by five. Right, so plus what to EAC, sorry? Plus three was it? Three. Oh, plus three, yep. cool. And then plus five to KAC. Yep. Cool. Because she has stats and I have to care about that aren't power suit. Yep. Uh, cool. I've added that one. Maximum dex bonus is plus two. I don't even know what her dex is right now. Yeah. Don't know where that stat actually is on this sheet. Nope, found it. That's cool. So that adds to the plus three, doesn't it, I guess? Or does that Oh uh, no, that's a maximum dex bonus. So um that is So if she only has two that. decks, it can only go up by two. Yeah. It can yeah, she can only apply a plus two maximum. Cool. That so makes sense. Anything that requires dex. And there's a minus two armor check penalty. For anything athletic -y or acrobatic. -y. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Works for me. Perfect. Yeah, minus five foot speed. And I also point out it's still with the shoulder laser attached. Okay. The integrated shoulder laser, which I haven't had time to take off. Okay. Yep. Uh, be careful with that one. She looks at you because she like I think as she like maybe you've you've suited her up a bit for ten after ten minutes or whatever, and she's standing there and then like the lasers on the shoulder and then she looks at it and then she looks at you and you're like, be careful with that one. She puts her hands on her hips because I was a highly advanced weapon suit, you know. She like sparks yes. a little. <laughs> of course. Anyhow, that one is set to non-lethal, so. She looks at it and goes, kind of screws up her face to the thing. It's probably for the best. Yes. Yes. And then awkwardly tries to walk in it. <laughs> so she tries <laughs> to get used to that. Um, yeah. Uh, would you go after that? Uh, back to the pile of tech that is gradually building up. And as a side oh. note, I love <laughs> that you gave that armor to oh. Alice and you totally ignored Chakos after a. <laughs> Michael had uh, said, by the way, she has his armor. He's like, ah, oh, yes, Alice will need armor. You're right. <laughs> I love that. Um, so, yeah, what's everybody else up to at this point? So, Zora, talk me through this equipment list. Um, so, I would have probably just kicked forward the crate of my spare stuff. Uh -huh. and Is that that cable the ooze gave you from like, <laughs> yes. the stuff? <laughs> yes, it is. In a year, you found no purpose for it. <laughs> I actually forgot entirely about it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, that's just fine. It's all going to help. Let's manager. face it, it's almost perfect, right? You just need tow cable. Yeah. So, wow. It's almost like the ooze was pressing. <laughs> uh, yeah. right, okay, what's the what's the levels of all this stuff? Um, I think So I know that all of it should be one and the Vesprigantine is level two. What's the arc caster level, right? I need to find that. Caster, let me check. Should have it here. Is it? Is that a static arc rifle? Is that it? Six, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's six. Because remember, when we got it, it was like I was like level four, and you said it was a little bit ahead. I'm sure six is right. Yeah, because it was a fucking steward weapon, so of course it's going to be yeah. decent. Um, literally, it was a emergency stun baton weapon. So yeah. Cool. Yes, that's good. Uh, Most because I need to track what these are putting in. Right, so we've got uh, levels. Is MDS putting anything into the pile, by the way? Anything that's not on this list? No. Nope. Zig? Okay, no, giving away the one thing I had. Um, I don't really think I've got much, to be honest. Again, it's only if you would put stuff into the make the project go faster. I only have flares. That, that, that seems right. Yep. Um, is anybody giving Zig a gun in this <laughs> like mess? Even if Zig wouldn't take it, <laughs> I don't have a spare. I would. I have a knife. It's fine. I mean, yeah, but you're just gonna telekinetically project how that knife for people. I know you, Callum. <laughs> I don't even have a sidearm. Never have. 
I don't do side arms. That. I only do main arms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I only do dosh goes yeah. and assault rifles. <laughs> oh wait, I've got tin foil blankets. You do something. That's that's heat shielding right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's you a go. good fight. Yeah, I've got mm -hmm. I've got five of those. Who wants some tin foil blankets? I would say take that directly to Nyx, which by the way is what I'll do with most of this crate, because looking at it, batteries, <laughs> alloy, mm -hmm. cable, um, space suit. Shielding. Yeah, the brigantines probably as well. I'll take the Doshko. <laughs> Shut <laughs> <laughs> Just because right. you want a Doshko. <laughs> no, no, I, it, it's, don't worry, it's going in the ooze. <laughs> I don't know. That's like my prize family Doshko. <laughs> is that your? So is that your only Doshko you're giving him? No, I've got my tat uh, my flame Doshko now. All right. I, d I wasn't sure if you were upgrading your tactical to the flame, or did you just keep both? I, I mean, I had both, but mm -hmm. I've I just been using the flame one because it's not cumbersome. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Just it's just remember I said way back at the, the start of the game if you wanted to have had like here is my Doshko from my life in this I don't mind if you upgrade it like the same item if that makes sense. Oh, it right, just yeah, means yeah, yeah. you don't get two so narratively your flame Doshko is just a cooler version of your actual first you know. I like the idea that maybe at one point like he did probably see it as like some symbol like his vest pride, but just right now he's just like yeah, but then away, after, oh, dear crap, man. after you nearly <laughs> after you nearly died to goblins in an elevator, you thought fuck tradition, I need to live. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So, are you taking that from the pile, Michael? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's getting it's getting cubed. Cool. Uh, to get everything else is staying, so we've got 7 high capacity batteries, 10 batteries, uh, Vesk armor. What level is the armor? Is it 1, 2? Two? 2. 2. Cool, so 6, 2, 1, 2, 3 is 11. And oh, I forgot I had my skin stuff, what, my second skin. Mm -hmm. What's this base suit? It's probably level 1, yeah? Yeah, it's at least level 0, I'm pretty sure it's actually right, classed okay. as 0. <laughs> right, so we've got 11 levels so far. What else we add into this pile of anything? Um, yeah, I mean, I've got I my second skin, skin as well, actually. Second skin as well. I'm yeah. gonna give Trackos my second skin in case she needs that. What that could be I'm gonna. Like I'll some... throw my second skin into the pile. What levels yeah. are these things? One, one. one. Second skin is one. Cool. Yeah. So if Zix throws his in, we're at thirteen. That's some like um, poly carbons, we'll call it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Breaking down um, for base material, yeah. I four, throw my four tin foil blankets. Mm -hmm. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I love how it went from five to four. It's like, well, I have to keep one. About to six. Keep. Um. Yeah. Uh, anything else that we want to put in here before we do the thing? Um, I don't have any comms to give them, so no. uh, uh, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. I think a uh, Nix has a spare com. He was gonna give you because he's still got yes, it he that he's had I for a year <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah but i think i took it out my inventory some time ago assuming that i given it to you <laughs> but i think he just yeah. like but what? i actively didn't take it <laughs> yeah yes. he just left it with you and then got lost in the library basically uh, oh dear uh, yeah so that's sorry it's not bad it's not bad at all um, do you want to give me an engineering check then? And we'll see what you do with this pile of stuff. Are we the actually the A-team? Is that what's yeah, going on here? This is, like. yep. <laughs> we are really A-teaming the shit out of this. Rig my ride. Yeah. Love it. There's a... Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really bad. It's not good. Doesn't shave off too much time. Um, but... It does mean you don't need to trash the ship as much because of all the fucking batteries that Zora apparently has. Um, I've got to be prepared, mm -hmm. and now I'm not prepared. But and you, it's going to. But you might live. Me. You won't just cook on the fucking <laughs> solar side of this planet. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you. It's maybe not as efficient as you want it to be because it's mostly guns you've been handed, and big pile mm -hmm. of batteries, but the batteries help. And then, uh, yeah, so what What time were we on? We were on four hours, weren't we? Uh, yeah, I'd say you could knock off an hour with that, easily. 
Yeah. So that's at least something, right? So we're down to three hours. Three hours prep. Um, I love how I just put these numbers in, I'm just going to write hours now, because if I just have these numbers randomly in here, I'll, I wouldn't remember what they're for. <laughs> uh, yeah, so for three hours, what does everybody else do? Um, I think Zig would rummage through his shiny thing bot mm -hmm. to see which ones he wants to carry with him, seeing as we're pissing yeah. off, you know. So yeah, what do, you, what do we find? What do we see when Zig's in his room? Just, uh, and like, like maybe you walk in and like there's things tipped over everywhere. Your box is sitting kind of maybe like out of place, somewhat as well, because mm. obviously you need to carry over straight to the box and kind of put it, like you know, like kind of just tilt it, like turn it so it's slightly back within its little box zone. Yeah, he's very kind of um, you know about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he like scurry over that. Like it's just because obviously the ship crashed, so everything's a bit out of sorts. Mm -hmm. Um. So he's, and he opens up the box, and he just kind of goes and peruses all the, the shiny things he's just kind of collected over his time on the eleventh hour. Um. Yeah, and there's maybe like a hollow float, like photo flickering. Um. What What is the image? In the photo. What does Zig have a photo of? It's um. A photo of. Ayasoki mm -hmm. silhouetted by the sun. Okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Who's the Ayasoki in the image? Can we make that out? That's a good question. Mm. Um, that remains to be seen. Is this like some kind of, you know, you find this clue in this abandoned ship hundreds of years from now, and it's like, we gotta find out who the Ayasoki was. They have all the answers, yeah. you know? And you look um, in the back and it's got the new locker code on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, um, but no, yeah, it's, it's like, the, like the sun's like the centerpiece and the Soki's kind of floating in the middle of it in a very zen pose. Okay, yeah. Turns out it was actually just a default photo frame picture, but in, Zig doesn't ever... Yeah, but it just liked it so much. So. <laughs> no, that's cool. Yeah. Like the, so, so do you leave that or like, what? Well, is that like? Is it important enough to Zig to take? I think he'd take it. Yeah. Put it into your well, backpack. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I need to add that to my <laughs> photo of silhouetted. It's okay. I feel like if you're right, shadow is okay. It's a bit more nefarious sounding. So. Yeah. Uh, Lyco. Yes. Let's so, go back um, to you and your. Uh, and I see this table is has moved. Yeah. Because of course it has. Well, yeah, like you turned off the, the field, threw in yeah. some guns and ran away. Um. But you just see like the guns kind of just floating. In it. And it kind of looks at you. Just as like the door maybe swooshes open. And as if it had a face, it kind of looks up at you. As if it had a face. But it doesn't. No. But maybe the way that the guns are positioned in it, you've got two of them facing you, and one of them <laughs> sideways. It kind of makes a, a really awkward face. Okay. Um, I uh, throw the <laughs> Doshko into it. Yep. And I think it just, like, you throw it, it, like, flies into, like, the surface and just stops immediately and sinks in the way. Um... Is it hitting like a slow field? But obviously it's just because it's hitting mass and it's absorbing it. And uh, the thing just kind of jiggles a bit on the spot. And then just moves f five feet. And you start to hear like grinding noises from the uh, inside of the, the ooze. Okay. Yeah. Um, are there any sort of just bits and bobs loose from the, the ship? From where pieces have been I mean, this is like this is Nick's Fives' workspace. It's probably full of yeah. random shit. Yeah. Um, I, I, uh, I, I'll pick up some of the stuff and just chuck it in, like <laughs> handfuls of scraps, because it's obviously non-essential. Because he's left it. <laughs> That's my thinking. <laughs> All of Nick's Fives' stash <laughs> thrown in. 
doing all that circuit board pornography. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so next five, what does he find? Like, what what is lying around your uh, your lab? Um, yeah, so I think there's probably assortments of tools, bits of old equipment that's been. Uh, yeah, is this like the Tinkerer's Garage okay. type kind of situation where it's just like half finished projects? Yeah, there's probably quite a few um, half finished projects. Probably like quite a lot of different types of tech from different places. So okay. I think it probably takes a lot of interest in uh, seeing how the same problem is solved from different places. Yeah, almost like as if you if you collected watches, it'd be a watch from each like species almost because it'd be like how yeah. did they tell the time? How did they, these people tell the time? Um, mm -hmm. you know, these people tell it by the way the tides work. These people tell it by the way the moons work. These people tell it by the way the sun works. Aye. Yeah, and you can tell a lot about uh, the cultures by their tech. Like Abs, uh, was it Ablon? Ah, uh -huh, yeah, Ablon. Probably be very. What was that? Sorry, uh, Ablon would be very what? Uh, Ablon would probably be like very minimalist, whereas mm -hmm. you're like the Lushunta would kind of a bit more artistic. Yeah, approach. like definitely more the Art Deco approach, right? Versus, yeah. you know, the very Spartan, sleek Apple design of a yeah. Avalon, yeah. Compared to the Acadonian, it's <laughs> a miracle it works. Yeah, it's like, how actually, where did the battery go? And it's the, <laughs> fact, like, the fact that you're touching the exposed components is the reason it works, you know? Yeah. You're the battery. Um, <laughs> so I can dig it. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's pretty cool actually. So like, maybe you get to the shelf or wherever it is. You maybe it's like above your work kind of space, and like, Lyco heads over to the shelf and like, you see all these almost trinkets, but like you know it's tech. But you know you've been around, you pr probably recognise some of it, right? Yeah. Um, do you leave it or do you scoop um, it up and chuck it in the cube? Like, um, I think could I uh, can, can I apply culture here? Yeah. You know, recognising things like that. Um. Yeah, totally. Boom. Yeah, I'd say like you could pick up enough about like maybe you can't identify every individual piece, right? But you definitely know that like eighty percent of it is, you know, specifically this is like an Akatonian thing, whatever the thing is, a hole punch, for example. Do you know what I mean whatever it is that Nix Five's picked up um, for these things? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and it is just a case of he's, you know, you identify it from its designs, if you know what I mean versus its function. So you don't necessarily know what they are, but you just know it's almost like cultural... Like someone's fridge magnet collection, basically, right? <laughs> like, okay. it's, it's the equivalent of that, right? Where they've yeah. went travelling yeah. and got loads of, like, this is my, you know, my s welcome to Spain magnet, but you just know this is an Akatonian thing, and this is an Abalonian thing, and this is an, god, Absalom thing, oh. and yeah. <laughs> it's a Castrovellian thing. I'll, I'll, I will scuff up, like, an armful and sort of gently start lobbing them towards the assembly. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yep. And, uh, wow. yeah, I think the ooze just, like, if you're over I don't know, maybe, like, over here I think as you start swimming the ooze just slowly tries to move closer to you. Because it's quite happy that you're feeding it. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't it be right? Finally they're feeding me, man! <laughs> Basically, right? I've been in here for a year and a half and have not fed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shocking behaviour. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> I'll look after a pet. That's awful. We don't know. know man. You killed your other one, didn't you, Zig? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, but no. yeah. No, it's no funny. How do I get the thing to actually. Stuff. Here's my mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what do you do? Like, what's the? Uh, I'll, I'll leave the room and I'll just sort of be con content to let it, you know, find what it may to consume in there. Okay. Yeah. Where do you head after that? Wait. Is the, is the, is it, did Dad miss that? Is it Ooze's field? Yep. Yeah. Oh Remember the part God. where he, he I went. I missed that. So, he, <laughs> so he went to the Ooze, he rolled computers to turn the field off, because he, he was taught by Nix how to turn the field on. If the field is ever off, push this red button. Um, And then he turned the field off, threw in some laser rifles, went looking for more stuff, and just left. Yep. 
And now the ooze is slowly just yeah. following him around the cargo bay, like as he's feeding it, like Nix's possessions or trinkets. My spaceship. <laughs> I mean, Nyx is mostly dismantling your spaceship on... My spaceship! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. Like, where is it you had Nyx, Nyx? Uh, sort of Lyco, even. Alright, uh, close the door behind me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Make sure it's closed. Um, and I'll head in to Nyx and inform him. Um, I suppose I'd do that in character. Uh, so, I've thrown a few weapons, a few trinkets, uh, it hasn't really produced anything yet, but I'm just sort of, you know, giving it some time. Okay, is it back in the containment field? No, no, I'm just gonna let it eat the room. Huh. Know, <laughs> the, the audience see a twitch for the first time in Nix Five's <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we can't take the uh, containment with us, can we? <laughs> Screw the escape pods, hook up the containment field. Uh -huh. I don't think we can, but I, I don't know. There might be something we still need in that room. Um. <laughs> okay. Maybe uh, a section of the ship. <laughs> oh, right. oh, my idea now: if you need anything from there, someone other than you and Alice get it. Of course. Excellent. That, um. That is sensible. I think by this time, Alice that, has made it to like. There. Walking in this what? armor. What? What? Um. What can I do to be useful? I ran out of. Well, for me, you can roll a throw. you can roll a d8 and hope for a certain number. <laughs> okay. Do you know the number you're aiming for before you roll? Nope. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Okay. That's not true. Tell me the odds sometimes, but not in this case. Uh, right, so... One in eight. Since you're the one throwing the stuff in, right, <laughs> I'm going to give you the option. So, uh, up to CR3, and by that I don't mean CR, I mean like item level 3. Uh, you can pick a heavy weapon or a sniper weapon for this thing to th spit out by the time it's finished consuming. <laughs> okay, um... So I'll let you go pick that since you're the one likely to go check up on the thing. So a heavy weapon or a sniper weapon? It's like, sniper weapon, please. It's like after an hour, there's a level th up to a level 3 sniper or heavy weapon of your choice. It kicks back out. Well, actually, let me double check what level my sniper rifle is, because I think it's level two. Because I think <laughs> the number you were wanting was a six, by the way. Yeah. For an armor, but um, that's fine. I like this because there is a table for a reason. Okay. Um. Let's actually see. Does anyone have a use of a heavy weapon? Uh, I mean. Yes, but I've already got one. If you don't okay. want to, if you don't want to pick, you can roll a d2. One, it's a heavy weapon. Two, it's a sniper. No, take yeah. sniper weapon. We'll, we'll find a level three. Mm -hmm. I'll look through the. Yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, that's where it spits out when you go back. It's like a gift, and <laughs> it's just a gun. What I think is appropriate is, you're the one that got a sniper back, so it's almost like yeah. it was like. Hey buddy, I know you like snipers. Mm. Clearly that's what you wanted. Yeah. I <laughs> it's like men me mentally making a note. Don't throw in guns unless you want a gun. I see. <laughs> it's not a bad theory, yeah. So what's everybody else up to at this point? Because you've got like hours to kill. So I think you kill an hour trying to feed this thing stuff. Uh, 
I am working on the machine. You are indeed working on the machine. Uh, Zega and Zora. Um, Zega hmm. and Zora. After I've ran around mm -hmm. to do my crazy mad. Literally, ready just to hit arm. Um, yep. Um, probably for starters, do a short ten minute rest. You know, spend a mm -hmm. resolve point. Yeah. Get my stamina back because that's probably a good idea. Oh uh, heck, that's a great idea. <laughs> so I'll do that. I'll Six. Do that. It's probably a focus rifle duel. I just FYI. It could be okay. the assassin rifle stalker if you wanted, but I feel I feel like it's probably the laser rifle I'll since you fed it mostly laser rifles. Yeah, um, but I'll have, I'll have a look. that's like the two options I think because I don't think there's anything. This so is, what were they again? Sorry, what books are they in? This as is well, in. Actually? I'm just looking in Armory. Um, page, an armory right page twenty-four. Right. Armory um, was not working properly for me earlier. Let's see if it works now. Uh, well, I was getting a lot of pages not loading. Uh, I just download it, man. I mean, I could do that, and I will. Yeah, I think I already might have done. Fuck, I didn't. But. The the r the rough gist of it is level three for the fo the laser focus rifle the, or the dual focus rifle or whatever that's called three uh, was it two d four which is fire hundred feet critical burn one d four twenty charges penetrating and sniper five hundred feet and unwieldy uh, twenty charges blah 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 and the other option is the projectile one which is the assassin stalker rifle uh, level three one d ten piercing instead of the 2d4 fire, uh, no no critical effect, it's one round instead of like 20 charges, uh, it's got breakdown on it, a uh, sniper up to 250 feet and unwieldy, and I don't think that means you've got breakdown cover with this rifle, I think what it means is you can just like collapse it. Disassemble it, yeah. But it is more like a I'm here to shoot one person in the head. Yeah. Versus Let me the, just have a quick look at it, the general. It doesn't sound any better than my current one, despite being level two. But then, it doesn't necessarily level two doesn't necessarily translate that. So you yeah, it's just more of a way. yeah rough kind of average. But yeah, so while well, he's looking at weapons, obviously look in the core book as well if you feel you need to. Don't mind where the book. Sheer, I think I'm sheer range in the laser is quite yeah. It's because of the laser. Let's face it. Uh, right. So Z Zig, sorry, what were you saying? Um, healing up. Yeah, I'm healing up. Sorry. <laughs> good, good. And you were doing something. Yeah. And I got distracted. But by you, uh, like, so you're packing your bag. You're resting, so you can you can pack your bag and rest at the same time. I don't see that being an issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, but still got a couple of hours to kill. What else do you up to? I don't know. I don't want to disturb Nix because he's really busy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Nix is the busiest. I think I'd just crawl, like, just go into the, the sort of common area, the mess hall, and mm. chill out. Yeah, Alice is in there. Just sit down. Oh, we'd walk in and be like, oh, hi. <laughs> Would it be one of those, oh, <laughs> walk back out moments, or are you... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it'd be, like, he'd expect it to be empty, so as he's walking in, it would be, um... You'd kind of walk in and then see Alice and kind of, like, freeze for a moment. Um, and then kind of relax a bit, and then walk in. Yeah. And just like you know, acknowledge your existence without actively going, "Oh, hey there!" It'll be more like, "Hi." Yeah, like just you know, making brief eye contact, nodding, like the usual kind of. Yeah. You know. And then you just see her like going wrapped the up in like having a snack. And she's in like Nix. It was like your original armor, wasn't it? That she's wearing. I believe. Potentially. Sorry. Uh, Alice is in like your original armor now. Is that right? Yes. Um, school hidden soul drama. Yeah, so fully uh, encapsulated. Yeah, she's like a bit clunky again. <laughs> Not proficient. Yeah, she's um. Yeah, she is. She's in armor. The helmet's probably like unscrewed until she's ready. Uh, so you don't say anything. Just go ahead and sit on one of the chairs. Yeah, I probably I probably do actively. I would probably actually just say like, "Hey, um, go grab something from." Oh, there are candy bars all over the floor. 
Yeah, I pick up candy bars on the, off the floor. Yeah. There you go. I think they were energy bars. They're now clearly candy bars. Um, <laughs> but yeah. They've fallen. <laughs> and then, like, while you do that, she goes, Oh, that's a good idea. And she kind of, like, awkwardly leans down in this suit of armor. I would, like, picks up one. Throw one across the table as well. Yeah. And then she I was like, like, She's kind of awkwardly bending down. I'd kind of, like, throw one across the table, pick one up by myself. Yeah. And then uh, she tries to, like, open the thing with her big armored hands now. Ziggwood kind of sigh and scurry over and like help out or attempt to help out whether or not he's actually helping is a yeah like you can go over and just open it for her it's probably much easier if you do it and then uh, yeah. she's sitting there and goes thank you it was much easier before and then she kind of vaguely waves over like her face and chest so it, it was much easier before this mm, I can imagine I'm just nod I think she just like kind of like tightens her lips together a bit and just kind of nods as if, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> maybe like a, you know, it's a couple of seconds before she realizes she can now eat the bar since you've like freed it from its wrapper. And uh, there's that maybe moment of silence unless you say anything and then she'll just slowly move the bar to her mouth and start eating. I think we can just watch that, like just very sort of confused but also very um, enthralled by the sort of just silence and slowness of sitting there with the, the, the bar unwrapped and just eh. yeah just kind of watching and then yeah, I think you guys might be. I think he still a feels bit. a bit awkward about you know murdering her. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't really know what happened, <laughs> and that. <laughs> yeah, I've no idea what happened. So. Yeah, and I don't know if she's like even referred to it at any point either, because I think somebody brought it up about how you know she died, and I think it was last mm -hmm. session, and she was like, "We what? A uh, uh, what?" <laughs> um just as a kind of passing thing, but she's not really had time to focus on that, considering the ship crashed after that. No, no. Um, but yeah, so like, do you say anything about that then? Do you bring it up? Do you maybe try and have that conversation with her, or...? Yeah, I think after like a wee bit of silence he would, you know... I wouldn't say it's silent, I think in this room is quiet, but I think you just hear horrible noises of metal wrenching. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sparks, what I mean yeah, is... In the background. Uh, Lyco running up and down, throwing stuff at a news. So I... I think he'd, um, you know, he'd kind of be, kind of playing with his, with his, with his, um, with his snack, mm -hmm. not really eating it, and then kind of look up and be like, so. And like she's like, got energy bar crumbs all down her armor, and she's like folding the wrapper up awkwardly. Do you? remember the, what happened before and then he kind of like you know sort of like waves his hands kind of at her body -ness -ness. Mm. yes yeah and gesturing to her general self yes uh, everyday salutes etc and uh, she kind of like exhales kind of like are we still here type exhaling like pfft, and then uh, she turns slightly in the armour as the seat screeches a little as she shimmies around in it to try and like angle herself close like towards you she's like I think so it's very hard to see she just narrows her eyes a little and then she says, uh, I know I'm different to how I was, but and she like lifts her hands up and kind of looks at them, but they're in obviously clunky armor. And she's like, I don't know everything yet, but you and Nick's. 
and query seem to have got me this far. And I'm just wondering... She would look a little bit confused there. What is yeah. What it says query. Um, yeah, and she's like, and you've got me this far. And I'm kind of wondering how far I can go. But at the same time, there's this feeling. And it's... I imagine it's like... Excitement or terror. They both have very similar definitions in the space dictionary. So it could be both. But I'm that for the future. Chan nods like as if yeah that makes sense. Like Cox's head to one side. Kind of brain bamboozled. Yeah, because she's kind of just said to you, By like... By that slew of words. <laughs> yeah, because she's like, I looked up the meaning of what I think I feel, and I think I feel that I am excited or terrified about what's going to happen to me going forward. And I don't know what's going to happen to me going forward. And I think it's your fault, and Nick's five's fault, and Query's fault, and I think I'm okay with that. And that's kind of the random word vomit you got from her. Yeah. But definitely said the first way. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, um, so he... Um... And it's it's not it like it's there and tries to process that word salad a little bit. Um, yeah, do you want to roll uh, sense motive as well for me? I want to see sure thing. if you pick up on this or not. Ignore what that. Is. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> we know what we're doing. Badoom. Yeah, like this definitely isn't the Alice you're used to having strange conversations with. Because uh -huh. Alice before was kind of playful mm -hmm. in her weird quirky way. This one's a lot more like introspective, maybe. Um, so there's a lot more internalized. It's almost like, you know, that happy go lucky kid has maybe become like a moody teenager or a brooding teenager, maybe. Um, moody's maybe yeah. the wrong word, but more like brooding. Um, where obviously they start questioning the meaning of everything um, and yes. what their purpose is as opposed to oh my god it's a butterfly you know like she used to be um, but yeah like you get you kind of learn that it's like something's definitely changed and that is the best definition I've got is she's been <laughs> went from curious toddler to brooding teenager is the oh, best okay. vibe um could I do like a um, attempt to see if like sort of like mad magical the energy that was coming off her is the same as it was before, or if it's changed? But like detect magic. Yeah, yeah. You gonna cast a spell? Yeah, you can cast spells, right? Yes, I can. You gonna tell her? Or are you just gonna do it? No, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Great zig fashion. <laughs> Again, I can't type today. <laughs> I give up. The yeah. date alk. You definitely haven't really typed for the last maybe ten sessions, but that's not, not the point. No. But yeah, 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 you know what I mean. Badoof. It just does a thing. Yes, it does a thing. Right, Ooh. okay. So, talk us through how this looks, because she's just said that, and then you just kind of sit there and do what? Like, what, what did we see you do? So I think I think Zig would you know he'd obviously sit there you know with his head cocked to the side kind of like blinking in not disbelief is the wrong word but in sort of lostlessness mm -hmm. lostness um from her from her insane amount of word salad oh yeah um, that hasn't changed and then <laughs> no. And then he he tries to kind of like think about like the the events of what happened when you know. <laughs> Sorry, I was just at that. Do not think about the event. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, Carry on. But of, of what what happened when he you know, mind linked to yeah. her and essentially killed her. Um, yeah, it was. Kind of tried to retrace all of that in his mind, and you know, it was obviously the whole reason that happened is because he saw this. Um, it's our, you know, like, oh wow, something magic-y, weird stuff going on there. Um, so he just, like, 
kind of zones out a little bit and then just closes his eyes and just starts trying to, you know, feel all the magical wooshy space nonsense flowing mm -hmm. around um, and tries to focus in on well, first of all, kind of like focusing it, would, you know, start off like in like a wide area and then slowly try and focus it in on the room and then try and just he'd open his eyes once he's kind of like right ready and he like just looks at Alice with, like big wide eyes yeah and then um, yeah you look at her you're standing on end you look at her and yeah like all of her is magical didn't have a lot of magic oof hmm Excuse me. So, like, yeah, like it's not that kind of weird aura that she had before. It's it's, uh -huh. it's now almost like you know a thermal scan of her in a way. You know, whereas mm -hmm. before it might have been a bit more like an X-ray. Now it's like a thermal scan. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, I think you would kind of like just blink and be like more back present in the room and he's like you're magic and then she kind of like turns and she goes thank you kind of smiles at smile. you <laughs> yeah and she smiles at you um, and then I think like she would say you're pretty magic too and then like just holds up between the two of you to break the weird smiling awkwardness Holds up a can like a kind of energy bar thing, uh, and offers it to you. This thing would just he would take it. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's just accepting this. Right, it's kind of more back to the Alice that he's. Yeah, right. Like it's almost previously aware of yeah. And it's still like it's it's funny because it's almost like you're finding a new comfort in this new Alice that mm -hmm. you've now had two distinct kind of pieces of evidence to say this isn't the Alice you know, but it's an Alice you might be able to get to know. Right. So there is potential for Zig and Alice to have a a friendship again or continue their existing friendship previously. Or at least working relationship, you know. Whatever yes. it may be. Um the thing you do get from it though is it's distinctively not not your understanding of the world magically. You know, it's not like mm -hmm. natural forces, etc., etc. It's like someone dumped a raw, like a chunk of magic into like a magic battery. You know, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, it's that idea as opposed to, like, you would emanate in the magical field because you're part of it, right? Mystics, like you move powers through you, etc. Um, yes, but it seems like Alice has become a chunk of power in this so yeah it would be like um, say you summoned something out of raw magic as a mystic mm -hmm. it would be the difference between you and the summon right the summon's just made of the magic you have cast versus you being able to be magical and casting it um, she seems closer to the big chunk of magic than somebody that's able to manipulate magic if that makes sense yeah yeah makes sense to me um yes that makes sense that makes sense good i'm glad in our tired brains mm -hmm. that makes sense I to each other um right uh, or at least i've taken something and said and what i've understood from it could be completely different from what you've said but yeah and i'm happy to I've skip towards uh, i'm happy to skip to the departure now if mds has any last things they want to do before we skip to that oops all good um I mean, we may, we may need to wrangle some moves. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... I think the session is growing sort of long in the tooth. Well, it's more of a case of does Lyco have any more shit to do on the ship, or are we done? No, no he doesn't. Good, good. Um, Nix, you're you're busy fixing. Is there anything you're going to do before you get I'll ready take to go? I'll everything I need to take care of. And everything else has been thrown in the use. Pretty much, yeah. Right, so we've got the ship. Who's going where? 
That's a question, right? So has everybody Ooh. assembled in the uh, cargo bay? I guess. Yeah. Let's move everybody. Oh, I had another gun I forgot about. <laughs> Low rifle. I thought you got rid of that, but yeah. No, I think I get it. Well, I'll find a use for it at some point. Unless I did get rid of it. So. I need to re listen to some older ones. Right, so we've got everything in the cargo bay. Who's going where? What was the conversation? Right, so <laughs> Next5 has rigged this thing to have a uh, two of these escape pods attached to the back of it. Like some weird horse trailer. <laughs> Looks fantastic, and it will be a comfortable ride. <laughs> Very comfortable. Oh, excellent. Ride. I have I have faith. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I Next to death, of course, drive. it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let me just maneuver people so that this dead boy is not in the <laughs> queue. It's not in the queue. <laughs> He's coming with us. He's going one of the escape pods. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. Okay. I'm going to be casting. Uh, I got, got to be chatting with it later. So, who's driving <laughs> this thing? I nominate Zig. Right. Okay. So. Zig, yes. I'm just going to pop you here, even though it's outside the spaceship. It's a. Uh, That's fine. I can breathe in space. It's one of the four slots of the ship. Uh, You're not in space! <laughs> in, except in the sense that everything is. So we've got six slots and seven people. Right, so you, you can go there. So use two in the front. Pit stop, pit crew. Yep. Right. I'll sit on the roof. <laughs> nope, there's two more slots inside. And then. Right, so we're putting Shakos, I believe, in one of these. Yep. Mm -hmm. I should probably go in the other. Right. Escape we walk away the MP. <laughs> <laughs> and well, then in this case, no, go anywhere I walk. To them. So, like. Well, we're not getting. SK's probably going to go in the car because she's so privileged and all that. SK doesn't seem to give a fuck about the car, actually. She seems to be waiting with this big gun. I mean. I feel like she wouldn't have waited. <laughs> <laughs> We're so far of our scene. But... Yeah, you've just agreed to go help her go shoot up him, Annie. So. Why wouldn't she wait uh... on you? She's currently a one woman anger party. And you provide cover. And sometimes more anger. Yes. In fact, we know that she can like clank your roofs of vehicles, right? I've seen her do that before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if her stabbing someone through the side of a limo counts, but I sure. <laughs> per buttons, by the way. Um, yeah. It's a throwback. Please. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> That's a few sessions ago. Like classic content there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want the vest to sit right above the axle to provide more downforce. Right, so left or right vest? Uh, left. I'll, I'll, I'll shotgun. Makes sense that you go in the side with Zig anyway, so that the space <laughs> balances out. Yeah. And then I guess I can just sit on my knee so you can see all the wind. It's good night. <laughs> <laughs> if you work the pedals, I'll do the steering. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing. And then. <laughs> God, I just wish there were funnier words established for faster and slower in Vesk, because then we could have had Zig screaming at these things. Um, <laughs> and yeah, like I think SK stands there, goes, about time, swings the gun on her back, um, and then like white light appears in like her helmet like forms, and it puts like all her hair away and stuff, so her suit's all sealed. And then out of white light underneath her, uh, she gets this thing that appears. Which is essentially just ah, oh. if I can wait. Oh, of course she's got a fucking teleporting thingy. Um, speed up, speed up. Yes, thank you. Yep. So, uh, if I can, can I move her to the front? Move that back. There we go. So she's done that, and then the the doors open, and she smacks the button. This thing appears in white light, and then all this light bleeds in, and the heat wave hits you even inside the vehicle. Um, the ramp slowly goes down into like the light. And we just have this white light uh, ending, and that's the end of the session. As you just go off into 
the it's the white light happens. Oh, I've got something I forgot about, and then I'll go to break, break, go arm the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. If you you can have armed them before we we left as well, if need be. Cool. I, don't, I don't mind that being a thing that you definitely want to do since you did spend I mean, time doing. Time. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, we end that session there. What would you just like to call it? Ooh, uh, hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> that's also not hot a bad rod. option. Hot rod. That's a, that's an option. Yeah, hot rod's pretty good. Um, hot hot good. topic. Uh, God, it's bad. Um, <laughs> Mr. Brightside. Hot topic. <laughs> oh God. Who who was the Mr. Brightside? The corpse. It's no, no, it's just because like they're on the bright side of the um, <laughs> cause I think it's called, is it Fulbright? Fulbright, yeah. I think, yep. is the... Um, I mean, we could call it Fulbright. That's not a terrible name either. Um, i trying to think of something that involves dismantling as well. And I can't think of anything that... Hotfix. Hotfix. Yeah. That works. Hotfix. That works, yeah. Hot Wheels, yep. <laughs> Hot Wheels, yep. Um, anything that doesn't have the word hot in it, maybe? Um, <laughs> Barney stuff. Bright Light City. Um, what else we got? The good side. <laughs> um, I guess maybe something slightly more sad. The 12th hour. Oh, no. Final hour. No, 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 no. No, it's to end, yeah, it's to end. George, yeah. end. <laughs> <laughs> Always look on the bright side. It's alright, yeah. Yeah, that's that one. I like yeah. it. Uh, any, in any and all references to looking at right. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what, what do you like the most in, out of this list? What are we going for? My personal favourite mm. is probably use Fulbright because it's the most in system appropriate term. But I really don't care. All of them work for what we've been through. Um, hot garbage is also a suggestion, I guess. Um, <laughs> hot garbage is. <laughs> Ooze, you're the captain now. <laughs> Actually is. Yeah, uh, been promoted. Can't wait for him to come back in the future. Yeah, because think what he could make of the ship, right? Um, uh. Maybe we'll eat the ship and spit out a new one, if I'm lucky, right? Like, it spits out one of those railroad go-kart things. Just tries to make it through the sand on one. Oh dear. Um, yeah, any of these standing out for you guys? What's your favourites? Go, don't think about it, just say it. Anyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, sure, yeah. yeah. Yes. Cool. So I'm going to go with a uh, yes. I'm going to go with hot yes. fix then. If nobody else cares. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to go with hot fix. Um, hot fix next. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, what they call me. They call me next. Hot fix. Bloody tired tonight. Yeah. Me too. Me too, buddies. Uh, right. Let us look at goals. This will be a quick look, I guess. Uh, right. Lyco, find new source of Barai information. Yeah, not made any movement in that. <laughs> but in theory, movement will be made. Literally. Yes, <laughs> true. So sitting in the ship waiting for hope isn't going to happen. But actually actively moving somewhere is good, right? Yeah. And you're on the planet where the stewards were born. Uh, Which is cool. Yeah. Are you keeping the goal the same? Yes, I, d I don't think I can remove that. I think it's, yeah, it's exactly a good where I was. Yeah. Uh, Zig, what were you and your goal? Yeah, um, I can tell with Nix and like seek forgiveness. Yes, well, I think right, making friends with Alice is a good step to doing this. I'd say the seek forgiveness part, right, like, is probably the Alice angle, right? But I'd yeah. say you've, you've still got the Nix angle to cover, and you've not had you've time, time to do that yet. So see when you're no, like well, several hours into the drive and the the blinding sun, like. Maybe that's going to be with that awesome, awkward road chat yes. that you can bring up. But, um, I feel like I'm making progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say so. Especially with, with Chang Dallas. I still feel like there's still that bit of kind of awkwardness there, though, in Zig's mind. So yeah. I, think, uh, I think I'll leave it. Leave it there. Zora? 
I mean, at this point, the ship's not getting fixed, but uh, not yet. He'll still right? hold it. He'll hold it. Hope. So, yeah. I think it's still fine where it is. Or like, even move on. Fixed. Like, I mean, not to say that necessarily has to. Be <laughs> like, obtain a new ship. Mm -hmm. Um, it's possible for sure. Um, but it's got sentimental value of that ship. Oh, I mean, let's see what happens next week, right? And then you can obviously look at your goal because you can think about it during the week uh, and I'll just <laughs> update it if need be. Uh, next five, what the hell? Like, well, we're still looking at this goal. <laughs> I think that's impressive. I also agree. It's Accident and emergency. Hug a show bad. Um, hug a show <laughs> So, yeah. I don't think you've had time to study the white space. I have not. Yeah, I've studied things, things and stuff. Yeah, um, happy to keep that, or are you wanting things. to change it? I will keep it exactly as it is. Good, good. Well, goals are done. Uh, <laughs> let us do our. Let's, as I said, they'll get quicker the more we do them, which is good. Um, right. So, start me off, uh, Nico. Um, let's see. Yeah, I enjoyed my problem solving skills today. Mm -hmm. uh, not being just find everything <laughs> and throw it in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. Um, with that car up and running. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, fix that one. Yep, yep. And faster I than like... originally thought as well, because that was like souping it up to drag two escape pods. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely better than hiking through the. Probably scorch all than scorching hot that yeah. desert. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is not going to be a like even though these are shielded somewhat, it's not going to be comfortable at all. And I mean, SK is on a bike. Do you know I mean it's like her mood is going to be great at the end of this trip if she makes it. Um, because keep in mind, things live on this side of the planet. Oh yeah, we're, yeah. we're anticipating violence. Yeah, we are yeah. bandit tune. Yeah, we're in Star Bandit Town. Um, uh, yeah, anything else? Uh, I also enjoyed the interaction uh, Zig. I keep on going to say Nix when I say Zig and <laughs> Zig and say the Nix for some reason. Right? Yeah, Zig. No, no excuse. There's no excuse, okay? But okay, so just getting that out there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I enjoyed the interaction between him and Alice. I'm enjoying seeing Alice get more. Human? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, question mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, thanks for that. Um. Oh, oh, we've, oh yeah, we've we'll come back if you got more. Right, we'll yeah. come back if you got more. Uh, Alex. Oh, probably. Uh, yeah. The Zig Alice interaction shed some interesting light. Hmm. Um. And then on the lighter side, I really enjoyed like those ooze shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, and like a yes. fairly docile ooze just slowly like going, this guy's feeding me, I'm going to follow him. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a shame watching, you know, everything we love get thrown into it. <laughs> well, luckily you don't have to see that because you never went back to your lab at any point to be like, where did all my cool trinkets go that I was going to take with me? <laughs> yes, that was a fun moment. Just, oh. I love the idea of it though, right? So that's something I really love, right? See, just Nix5 is collection of how things work from different cultures thing. Like the idea of specifically going away to collect watches from different cultures or whatever it would have been, the trinkets. Like, I think that's a cool idea and it does suit the character of somebody that's a cultural expert, quite frankly. Um, yeah, because I was thinking about that earlier of how to better blend together the Temper Pilgrim and the mechanic mm -hmm. kind of aspect. And it is interesting he's because, not, like, he's not one that's going to have your sort of gap year bedroom full of. Yeah, like you know, a shell from the beach where, things. like, you help that villager. Like, yeah. Like, it's. This is more of a case of you're interested in, like, what the technology says about the people in a way. Mm -hmm. Which is super yeah. interesting, I think, from the character. I mean, if anything, that, in addition to the changes, like, Nix 5 has been through, is super interesting because it kind of. We're now seeing where Nix 5 was always a bit more people oriented than just a mechanic but we're kind of mm -hmm. seeing it like retroactive snippets of it where it's like look here's a shelf we've never seen in, in shot before because this is something with all of his trinkets on it 
So this is something he cares about. Yeah. It's his private place. Yeah. It's almost like it's a, a very almost impractical thing, despite it being a a personal hobby slash study of your own, you know? Mm. It's kind of interesting. Um Yeah. Anything else you had? Uh just really enjoyed the kind of problem solving mm. type sessions. A nice chance to break yeah. out the skills. I was gonna say, yeah, roll some dice. Yeah. Um what about yourself, uh Lyco? Yeah, I also enjoyed the interaction with Sig and, and Alice. Um, it was fun for me, I suppose, getting to like be a bit weird. Like he's not necessarily useful here, so he's just kind of doing Lyco things. I, I have uh, this stuff. Does this stuff help you? Yeah, yeah. I, I just he, he is kind of a, a. I suppose in a sense he is a fairly grim character, but I don't like to play him grim mm. at all because that's not really his personality. It's more just backstory. Um, and he, he he was sort of trying to be useful in his way, but he's conscious of the extent to which he is useless at engineering. Mm. Um, so it was it was quite it was quite fun sort of playing around his limitations. Mm -hmm. um, it was also the he kind of not immediately high risk, but it was high risk because where do we go next, right? You know, this is dangerous. What we're walking into is a dangerous situation. Yeah, the sun. This is all <laughs> deeply serious, despite how we are playing it for laughs. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of a fun uh, balance of tone there, and I wanted to make a point of, like, mentioning Shakos. Um, you know, although he says it's purely from a pragmatic point of view, it's only partially, because she has a colleague and mm -hmm. a friend, so he has concern for her safety, and I like sort of showing that side of him. Um, I don't want to make him come across as completely mercenary I think he is um, more than willing to actually consider the well-being of others like he's, he's I, I described him as neutral before and, and I will do again but then I think like neutral is a default setting mm -hmm. it's not like the absence of goodness you yeah. know like you, you wouldn't call a deer evil yeah, that's right? an evil deer it, it, lack, it lacks the sort of but it's not that it lacks empathy or what have you. You know, sure, a deer will be very protective of its own. You know, so mm -hmm. it's, it's not like you necessarily don't have these positive traits. It's like a neutral doesn't mean flat, unexpressive, doesn't give a shit. Like, you know, the very funny Futurama joke. Mm -hmm. It's funny, a but that doesn't really make it make sense as to what neutrality actually is. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it is a balance. Like it's a, it's a very natural state, right? That's why animals are usually neutral because when you're sort of divorced from these big ideas of good and evil, you're not, unless you're like an actually really unusually repugnant normal person. Normal persons don't tend to be evil. Cosmic horrors tend to be evil. Um, I think we're on that precipice of existential uh, dilemma, almost. There, uh... Yes, on the precipice of defeat. Uh, <laughs> But no, no, I get what you mean. Like it's, it was good to see like on oh, almost a. Uh, my talents lie before and after these moments. Yeah. What so he's getting a flap here, I suppose you could actually mm -hmm. see. Um, but he tries to be productive in a flap, so that was fun. And um, you're a gifted a beautiful rifle to be determined. Yeah. Uh, by set, or was it a laser one? Yeah. Uh, RTD, sorry. Um, RTBD. Ritual. <laughs> RTBD. Um, the the ooze names. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a, a bit of an unusual step and say I'm looking forward to seeing what's ahead in this world and seeing how sort of the characters interact with it. You mean the I, Mad Max chapter that I'm writing? Well, now? yeah, partly. <laughs> but also slightly further ahead where we're looking at like um the protect potential interacting with more stewards mm -hmm. in as you say like a sort of fallback mm -hmm. line right you know this is like the second line of defense mm -hmm. like that's that's a pretty big thing uh, and so I'm, I'm intrigued to to see how that is and and, and how like of it's and that and how the other characters work around that yeah like for me it was a big a big deal to try and make the chapter feel like it's going to be different from what you've had before right because mm -hmm. you don't want to just keep playing well the chapters are arbitrary for my own tracking it's it's still nice to feel like oh that was the bit where it was kind of focused on that kind of stuff we did um which is good uh for me anyway at least to try and theme things and yeah i wanted to put you on a specific planet um 
really depended on what the hell was going to actually happen on the game. I knew that if you decided to go to certain places and the drift hadn't messed up or whatever, like there was loads of other options we could have done. But for me, Versus was like such a good option because it is the birthplace of the stewards. The planet's so interesting. It's why Zig rolled to see where he crashed you guys because you could have landed in the perfect equator. You just didn't because yeah. Zig's piloting. And he obviously it's landed off. in the sun side. It was perfect. That's <laughs> why I laughed at the start <laughs> when he rolled. Because I'm like, ah, you've got the options. Hot, cold, or the perfect middle. To the sun! Because um, when in doubt, it's what Zig knows. Right? So I thought that was funny. Even yeah. though the dice made that choice. Sun is safe. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to add? Oh, that's nice. Uh, um, Colin? No, no, I'm a very tired boy, so I'll keep yeah. it cool. short-ish. Uh, Callum? Um... Anything to do with the ooze is mm-hmm. wonderful. I just love it so much. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoyed um, Nix's and S Kate's little um, little debacle. The, 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 yeah. The, 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 the start. Yeah, the little tete tete moments. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. um, there's just there's a couple moments there. Um, I, I I did have specific things, but I don't know what I did with my piece of paper. I can't find it. <laughs> um, there's a couple. There's a couple moments during that that. Um, Is it just like the kind of like the looks they give each other and such when uh, yeah, Nix Five um, knew a lot more about like, like the Nick Void Egg. Little, uh, <laughs> yes. Um, just and uh, there's a, there's a couple of like wee lines that Nix gave out that were just really awesome that I really liked. But again, I don't know. I've done a bit of paper. I'll find it for next session. But um, yeah, you comment on the video. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Good idea. And we'll actually get uh, the comments going. These are the comments I liked. Um, hashtag spoiler. Uh, mm-hmm. No, it was good, guys. It was a good, nice introduction to chapter six. Uh, I love the fact that mm. he's basically just went cool. How do we streamline everything? Cool. Feed the ooze and feed Nix's ability to fix things. Um, for me, it was nice to see Nix solve a problem with a problem he caused earlier. <laughs> um, that was good. Because that almost wouldn't have been an option for you guys had he trashed the buggy um, by utilising it previously. Um, having, obviously, <laughs> Zora instantly sign everybody up to go fight Himani is my favourite thing. Um, guys are dush, right? I mean, but that's what mm-hmm. I love. It's so vesk, right? It's like, yeah, he's a predator. I'm a predator. Bound to happen. You know? <laughs> I, I, we've got to show who the alpha lizard really is, right? I mean, <laughs> And I think we all know it was the white one in that cave, right? Like, I think uh, we all know that. Um, that's fine, but just, just leave that one out of you. That's, that's <laughs> fine. Hamani's the asshole one. This uh, is a Hamani on Hamani, like, thing right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, Zora's obviously doing some artwork in the back seat. Um, <laughs> you get your document. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited to see where we go. Can't wait to see a crazy finale to this chapter as well. Uh, thanks, guys, for playing. We did run way later than I actually intended to run. I was going to do a short session, but then we kept finding stuff to do. Um, yeah, goodbye, everybody who listened so far, etc. Bye. Thank you.